Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. Let's chat a little bit. So, I guess I'll recap our goals for this session. Hit level 18, find the four other elementals, which I think are Undine, Salamando, Dryad, Luna. With the intent of doing the Beastmen last with Luna, since the game explicitly warned us. So technically, we're in kind of an open situation. I think our money total is okay. I thought about if I wanted to go back and get elemental buffs on our weapons. <clears throat> so in theory... Excuse me, Chan. I could have bought uh, additional, maybe, water, for example, against the fire boss. Probably would have saved me some time if I remembered to do that while we are at the other shop. But oh well, I didn't know about the split of the four since it has been a long time since I played. So I think we're just going to go forward with where we are at, which was the middle of the oasis. Let's pause the soundtrack and jump into things. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. Every day I stream this, I go, I really hope that's the right game. <laughs> it turns on the Twitch logo. It is not fair. Both of them are called the same thing, and there is nothing distinguishing them aside from the picture. Both of which I might add are the poster, the front of this game. One is a slightly different color than the other. But it's not in a way that really makes sense to me, because I never saw this game's original release. And I don't have the other game's physical copy, so I don't know what that looks like either. So that's kind of unfair. Hopefully we're playing on the right category, though. If not, it's... oh well. I, I picked one at this point. Um... I think I have everything I need to win. I got multi-heal, strength ups... I could have subbed out Escape Rope for the elements, since I only technically need that one going through. I am more Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. Good luck. Oh. I got the level up I was looking for. Let's put another point in Spirit. Just to ensure that I get all my abilities. So that's fortunate, because I do need to hit 18 at some point, and these enemies are level 17. Did you frame zero heal? That was kind of obnoxious, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, that was, uh, that was a solid 8. I like the counterplay of I comboed him, yet he healed anyway. Love that. So we're just going to beat stuff up, and I'm going to save my super attack, I guess, for the this thing. To stop it from doing much. And hopefully I can interrupt it before bad things happen. It's not worth XP. Just want to clarify, it is not worth the time fighting, but if it's in the way... Oh, I forgot this was a trap. I should have remembered. I'm looking for the path we went to earlier. Where essentially we... That did 100 damage? What? I'm sorry, that threw me off on the train of thought. I was not expecting to take that much damage from a random projectile. Uh, but there was a room we cleared out all the enemies and it opened a side path to the right. And I remembered that it was the side path to the right. I just forgot what room it was. So sadly, we're going to have to wail on some enemies here. Oh, I did actually get petrified that time. Exit appeared, yada yada. So the intent is to get XP as we go, but not necessarily to explicitly grind. Not yet, anyway. When we're in the volcano and enemies are slightly higher level and hopefully not the horrible bird enemy type, maybe they'll be more fun to fight. But for now, let's conserve the candies in our inventory. I guess in a way I'm reducing the money grind by keeping Charlotte. But her damage, uh... Disappointing is an understatement. I would like to go to the next area, but I feel like... I'm gonna be prevented from doing so. Oh, never mind, it's still down. Alright, so I took a million damage there, so let's heal again. So I could get another armor upgrade. I'm going to save for the ice country for that. 
As I said before, I'm going to be skipping helmets for the most part. They don't seem really beneficial. I would like to go to the next screen before bad things happen. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go to the next screen as well again. Unless I feel like I'm near... Near killing them, I say as I get absolutely bodied. So yeah, so she basically saved me about two candies per time that we've healed. It's okay. So I could do that to see where I am, but hopefully this is... Oh, I, I reached the fortress. A bit unfortunate. I actually do not want to go to the fortress. So I'm going to have to remember that for later. So I thought the vol... Okay. Where was the volcano relative to this place? Was it... I thought it was... Let, let's bounce up. Where where am I relative in the world map? Let's find out together. One point less for Charlotte. Hmm. Okay. Is it really that far south? I didn't think there was a way to go south. Unless in the oasis there was another way to go south. I'm gonna get a couple of kills here since I think I'm gonna be forced to go back to town. Do a nice little power attack there, finish them all. Hmm. I vaguely recalled south, but I didn't remember what it was south of. So anyway, we're gonna try to avoid this room because I'd really rather not deal with it. Again, the lag of a run button here kind of sucks. So I'm going to go back to town if nothing else to heal. Maybe I missed another exit in the town. We know the path to the right is a trap. I'm not going to bother with it. They could kill this thing. This thing's easy to kill. It's everything else on screen. I don't really want to fight unless I have to. I actually did an okay job. Surprisingly. Oh. I, I don't... I don't like you. Go away, little bird. Okay, so I got forced back to town. Was there another rat from the oasis? Guess we'll find out in a moment. So we went up a hilarious amount of cash. That's the plus side. If I do happen to get lost, I do end up with a lot of money. Uh, I don't think I need to save the game yet. If I die, I die, honestly. Yeah, there's nowhere to go here. Did any of them mention where it was? Hmm. The weapon and armor clerks are never awake at the same time. Okay. Yeah, like, they mentioned the Fiery Gorge. I'm just looking where it is specifically. Because I can't go into the fortress. West of this town. Oh. My bad. So it's south of the entrance, but west of this town. Got it. Okay. When we came in, we had to kind of go a little east and then downwards. So somewhere to the left is our destination. So let's slowly scoot over that way. Although I feel like this was a locked room, wasn't it? Oh, it's not. Never mind. Um, I don't mind killing these enemies. As I said before, they're not the birds. Tomato men are at least somewhat easy to kill. And these things don't do a lot of damage as long as you don't get that close to them. They're probably like the only enemy I vaguely care about when I play in fighting combat. The only enemy champ. The other ones I'm just kind of like, I don't really want to deal with that. I just kind of nope out of there. I am okay with killing three of these. And they're level 18, so they're a level higher than the other area. So they're the level I want to be at, eventually. <laughs> I'm just going to spam the special attack button until it lands, because there's literally no downside to it. Uh, I'll heal our characters up a little bit here. So, so far, it's going okay. 
I have a lot of spare money in case I need to buy more things from the night market. Or I could use the money for equipment, but as I said before, I really don't want to go in the menus for this game if I can avoid it. They are kind of trash. Let's try down here. Seems promising because I'm able to run. Welcome, Eldritch. This is a re-release, same menu as the SNES. This is a official translation of... Uh, I want to say it's like in Danetsu 3 um, on the Switch. It came in the collection of Mana. Also, the black text made me squint. I had to figure out your name. <laughs> but I believe it is Eldritch. So this is also a dead end. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it me. So... Where does it want me to go? So I went west of the town. We're just looking for Fiery Gorge. I'm getting a lot of incidental experience, which, I mean, I needed to do at some point regardless. I'm going to regret doing this, but I'm going to open the menu. I'm really curious how close I am to leveling. Not super far away. 904 is not that bad. And I think she was the character furthest behind in levels. It's not bad. So if... Is there like another path I could have done from here? Why is this like the only place I can run? Feels to me very suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> Out of curiosity, if I re-enter, does it immediately rearm? No, and they don't come back for a while. I'm assuming if I use the inn, they'll respawn. I didn't mind the fight there for XP, just for clarity. Uh, I'm gonna go like this. So I'll take the combat here. Ooh, I'm getting hit a little too often. When there's three of them, it's a little messier, I will admit. When it's just one, they're pretty simple. There we go. Uh, please don't be a polter box. It's technically not a polter box. I'll take it. Is it me or just opening chests in this game feel like the biggest troll? Like, eventually I need to do it for class level ups, but... I, I feel like, at least, maybe it's just me, I feel like the ratio of trap chests to secret mana is, like, insanely high. I feel like it's 1 in 3, if not 1 in 4. I don't know what the odds are supposed to be, but we've had some really bad luck with that. Ultra Box being the more annoying of the kills and not worth our time at the moment. Every time it's a troll. Oh, there we go. We found out where to go. Help! Yeah, sadly, I know I need to open them eventually. That's why I'm checking them now. Hmm, I lifted your curse. Now show some gratitude and prove your usefulness. Bill, Ben. I believe you have a score to settle. This is your last chance. Yes, ma'am. Stop this. You'll have to face us. We won't go easy on you like last time. Behold this dark power that Belladonna gave us. Secret attack, evil fusion. You did the same thing last time. What's different? Nothing's different, cool. So anyway, uh, let's go buff ourselves. I think as long as we respect that... Wow, you interrupted my menu? That was kind of rude. Why don't you heal? Why don't you buff yourself? So that way we're maximizing our damage and I need you to probably just heal me just in case I get hit again. I think that's the best I could really do at the moment. You know what? Actually, you know what? Get in on the beat down, Char Charlotte slash Twinkle. You did it. Become the powerhouse you were never meant to be. I uh, did some good damage, split them up. Got Shuriken. Heal me, just in case. 
that should be fine. I should get healed here. Uh, I need you to probably take a safety candy here. I don't want to wait for the cast animation. I think I just need immediate healing in case they double special attack there. Everybody else I think is good. Yeah, I got combo, but that's fine. Ooh! Ooh! Fan, fan, fan myself up on that one. Holy, that was big damage. Let's not die to that. Almost got one shot. Glad we're mostly maintaining our health. Uh, I'm gonna emergency chocolate as well. Ooh, it won't let me. Do it a twinkle then. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, now we're good. He might be dead. Because I didn't get a chance to heal him yet. Yeah, that's fine. That's why we have Cups of Wishes. Alright, we killed one of them, but sadly I think our partner was dead, so they just lost a lot of XP there. Did you see him hit me while dead? What what a god. <laughs> Yo, the revenge attack was real, chat. Holy. See that? Look at that. Charlotte's been pumping strength. She's hitting the gym. Anyway, I don't think I care about her HP still. Let's just get more healing at this point. <laughs> Holy. He slapped me for 40. What a jerk. Is this like a real dungeon? Oh, they're only level 17? That's actually kind of disappointing. Ooh, our damage is not that good against them. Hmm. Okay, there's more ninjas as normal encounters. That's not good. I don't like the ninja enemy type. That is what we call unfortunate. This is like one of the only enemy types I don't want to fight. I don't care about the duck. Oh, more in strength? Yes, please. Absolutely. We need to be hitting like a truck. All right, let's take advantage of our heal here. So let's see how much she heals now with the... Adi <laughs> okay, I love that. I love that ultra delayed level up. That took, that took me by surprise. Okay, more strength, please. Looks like I'm ahead of you. I am at four elementals, if you want to know Eldritch. But good luck with your own journeys through Trials of Mana. We have just happened to arbitrarily pick Volcano Place first. So I see potentially two exits. Are any of these a save statue? If they're not, I might actually go back and save. Oh. The fire bursts are too strong. Well, I guess that answers that question. The level ups are trying to jump scare me. They did. <laughs> it was like it was like a solid like what was that five six second delay. Like I had, I was looking at chat about to move and read what chat said and <laughs> then it leveled up. Holy. So anyway, we are almost the level that I want to be at, which is good. Oh, that reminds me. In case we have some hor hor uh, horrendous back to back battle, why don't we restock on candy? I bought a spare chocolate earlier. We'll probably buy like a million more of these. 300 heal OP. And then, oh my gosh, the menuing. In this menu, let's go get our Drake skills. So we're still really good with healing. Uh, if the bursts are too strong, what does it want me to do? Do I have to come back here or... Oh no, there's another path. I'm like thinking like from a, you know, RPG standpoint, maybe I need Undine, for example, to chill the volcano so I could go further. I'm hoping that's not the case and we could just meet Salamando who will protect us from fire. Okay, this could be good for level ups. It depends on how aggressive these things are. Okay, did some good damage. Time to bully. Bully time. So that... That area is actually not terrible. Wow, another trap. Do I need to get a trap counter? <laughs> Holy. Please don't be Polterbox. It's Polterbox, of course it is. Drake skill. 
Uh, no, 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 no. I don't care how much money you give me. I don't care what items you draw. Not interested in fighting you right now. Not when I haven't saved the game. Oh yeah, you can trap me in here. I need more XP. We need to get two more levels. I I'm gonna ideally hit about 17 before the next boss. I want to get closer to the level of these enemies. So like we're we're getting a little closer. Don't be a mimic, says Kirk. Too bad. Game is like, listen, we took notes from Grand Stream Saga. Of course it's a mimic. I'm scared to pause to see how much I need to level. I'm just going to assume I'll have it. Oh, he got a spell out. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Did I level or? Oh, it was it, it was loading the fire graphic. I couldn't move for a second and I'm like, oh, never mind. I thought it was like, oh, wow, level 17 already? Nice. Uh, so she's healing 175. So that one spirit was about 7 HP more? Which is not bad given how much we're taking. Like, that's fine. We were healing 169, I think, earlier. So it just gives me more of a safety margin with these characters. Yeah, so I don't know if there's like a guts mechanic in this game. Sometimes I've seen them live at one. I do know that when you leave areas or when fights are completely done, they do come back at one HP. But there's other times where they are at one HP when enemies are there. They don't like quite die. Oh, there's our save statue. Jeez, that's pretty deep. So, feels like big boss time. Now, the question is, do I try to level again before this boss? Because I'm assuming it's going to go right to the boss, more or less. Maybe there would be, like, a room in between at most. I keep thinking that is the main menu. I don't know why. I should know start is not menu. It's square. The equivalency thereof. Ooh. That is not close. Ooh. We're getting like 180 per room we clear, by the way, chat, to give you a rough ballpark. So we would have to clear like 16 plus rooms just to be one level under where I wanted to be. So I'll go refight this room if it respawns, but that's it. I want to move forward after this. I know some characters might have missed the boss XP because of how they died. So we're just getting makeup boss XP here as far as I'm concerned. Between two different boss fights, we had people die. Yeah, like these enemies are pretty easy, but they're not worth a lot. Because that was approximately as I said before. Some, uh, oh. I found an alternate place to get trapped at. Well, we're showing new content. That's how we get to view it. Please unleash your super. There we go. Uh, I think that kind of makes up the 300 XP that they missed earlier. So we'll we'll just pretend that all of them live through the other boss fight. And again, if enemies respawn here, it's fine. We need XP anyway. See, that's 60, and then they're worth like, what, 40-ish? 50. I think I had like 140 in that room. It was okay. But obviously not like, need 2,000 a level good enough. But hey, Chad, at least if I complain later that I don't have money, I can say... I spent a little extra time fighting things for money. Literally two more minutes. <laughs> so I tried. Stop right there. Come no further, unless you want me to throw her into the flames. No! Dart. Oh, Hawkeye coming in. He's the real protag of this story, apparently. Oh, there are more of you. This is not over yet. What's this, reasonable XP? Oh, no, no, no. The enemy XP is reasonable for their difficulty. The level, the XP needed to level is not okay. We're hilariously far away from leveling again. Lena says, this young woman is Jessica? She's unconscious, but we can't leave her in this weakened state for long. Belladonna cursed her. Yeah, we need like over 2,000 XP to level. We're getting about 150. 
to 180 a room for context dango so i would have to grind back and forth to reach level 17 at least 12 rooms <laughs> which as you can imagine i'm not going to do the curse was broken but jessica's been wearing the choker of death for so long her body and soul are both at their limits hang in there jessica oh oh guy take her back to the oasis of din need to follow belladonna She's after the energy from the monostone. Good luck. Again, I feel like Hawkeye has had more story than Durin so far. So there's the plus and minuses of picking characters that are not paired with each other. We're seeing it a little bit there. We're seeing all his cool adventures. <laughs> We're see We've done like literally nothing for Durin. We interacted with the grandfather of um twinkle i suppose but like very little interaction at all with durin behold this is the pure energy the monostones hold within i lifted the girl's curse so i might sacrifice her life to break the monostone seal and bring us closer to the sanctuary but you foiled that plan Luckily, I used the souls of Bill and Ben in place of hers. Thank you for defeating them and providing me an alternative. All hail his dark majesty! Well, I guess Bill and Ben better officially dead. Let's interact with the stone. She's released the energy from the stone. Now we know that Belladonna is trying to open the world por portal, just like the Altenians. Everyone's after the sword. The sword of mana falls into evil hands. The mana tree will die and mana power will disappear. Then the Benevidons will be released. We cannot let that happen. We have to find the elementals and open the portal before the enemy does. We need that sword. Oh, there's Salamando just chilling out. I heard it all. That lady royally messed up the Firestone. Take me with you so we can make her pay for it. Grah! <laughs> Just grows at us, chat. Glad to see you're fired up. You ain't seen nothing yet. Grah! Obtain powers from the fire elemental salamando. Why do I have a feeling I didn't actually gain anything? <laughs> Like, I'm scared to open the spell menu in the, in the main menu, but I could check out the rings. I really doubt I got anything, but let's humor ourselves briefly. Ah, uh, yes, I got the power of Salamando, which is disappointment. His power is disappointment. Alright, so I'm not the right level to switch classes, which is really unfortunate. Also, we didn't fight another boss. Hmm. Well, I guess if there's no other boss to fight, we got a level in the ice place. That kind of sucks. Now the question is, do I magic rope or kill things on the way out? I think I kill things on the way out. I kind of need that XP. And maybe we have to go to Oasis anyway for a cutscene. It's not like I'm not gonna heal. I'll play Charlotte though. Oh, Charlotte actually bullied somebody? He's using Ice Saber, cool. decent XP. Unreal! Chat tilted! I'm three for three! Three for three! Stop! Oh my gosh. Poseidon Claw given? Oh, now you give me the ice stuff? Too late now. I don't need that. Yes. Alright, well, actually, can we go through the other paths? Now that we have Salamando. No. Oh well, it was worth a try. So we fought the only boss here, which is a bit disappointing. 
Oh. You're the Cross Knight character. He's doing his best Chrono Trigger impression. Gotta be that Lightning Swordsman. <laughs> Alright, let's heal. Lenith. And then I'll do one safety heal on myself. And I think needs a haircut is also fine. So again, we need to kill a lot of rooms worth, and that was not anywhere near enough XP. So let's see how awful the desert is at night. Gold bullet is here. Oh, I'm doing a whole one damage. Love it. Okay, big damage. Do you mind not dying on me? I'd really appreciate it. You were one of the characters I healed before we got here. Okay. This is that before. We need to get a lot of XP. I do think it is worth grinding to an extent. I'm not doing it for stats, again, for chat clarity. I should be getting a lot of new abilities. So that'll mean Durin will potentially be able to use elemental sabers. I should have support magic on um, Lenith and Twinkle might get other things that are useful. More importantly, AoE Cure. So that would be nice if we got that. I think chat would probably agree. It would be nice and in our best interest to get it soon before we got to something hard. Because otherwise, we're just wasting time menuing. Love the enemy glitching out up there, though. Okay, me and Leneth kind of have a good combo going. Charlotte just straight up bullying a dinosaur. And the XP is okay. 240 is pretty good. There's another enemy here somewhere? Oh. So let's slowly make our way out of here. See, these are level 18, and these are the level I want to be at. So if I get to 17 before I leave this area, I'll consider it a success. So we're getting about 240-ish a room, which is like 10 rooms, which isn't terrible. Oh, I got petrified. That really sucked. Hopefully that kills. Let the thing be born before you kill it. He's still in the egg. No. Let him perish. Screw the cockatrice thing. Calvisham. No mercy. I don't feel remotely bad. It does half my health petrifies me. No thanks. It could stay dead. Uh, I'll do one emergency heal on myself. I think controlling Durin so far looks a little better for combat. Just so I could guide his strikes a little more. Because I could be more aggressive with him than the AI will be. Should double hit both of them. They should both be dead on this, I think. So that was a good room clear. Oh wait, that's the that's the trapped. I just remembered what screen I was on. In my defense, I realized my mistake before I stepped in. The place I'm looking for is to the bottom right. Yeah, like, here's, like, the only time where positioning matters is if I want to AoE hit them. But I'm pretty sure as soon as we get a class upgrade, it won't really matter. We should just full screen attack everything. So I will, I will make an amendment where positioning doesn't matter. It mostly doesn't matter. The game is very generous with making sure that you strike them. I can't just, like... Like, I could mash from a distance, but if I miss, like, completely, I get, like, another quick attack like this. So my timing is not super important for combos. When I was complaining about that yesterday. Oh, I leveled. Uh, can we get you with more strength? No. Can I get you with more spirit? No. Okay, in that case, you force my hand. I'm gonna give you stamina. So she hit 17, so that's... That's about what I wanted. 
I was hoping to fight one more boss to get to the right level. Stupid prickle beak. Why is she shoving it out of the way? <laughs> I just want to hit it, chat. She's making me miss. What a jerk. So we should be getting pretty close to leveling with the other characters. There should be a discrepancy of maybe 300 or so. So let's sleep at the end and see if we could find the girl. And if nothing happens here, then whatever. How much money do I have now? <sighs> okay, I went from like barely 5k to uh, 12,000. Interesting. I will take a save. So now that I'm about the right level for the area, I do feel stronger, question mark. But again, the only reason I'm grinding that XP, I want that class upgrade so bad, chat. You have no idea. No, you're not going to say anything about the people that just came back? Really? Are they at the bar? Like, where are they? They said they're going to go to Oasis, right? Yeah, yeah, we know about the thieves, yada yada. Are they really not here? Huh. That's kind of disappointing, unless they're in the inn somewhere. Yeah, yeah, water will dry up, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we don't care what you have to say, old man. I mean, I'll check the inn. Maybe there was another room or area that they're in. Otherwise, I guess their side story just kind of disappeared into the ether. Oh, I guess it just disappeared into the ether. Oh, well, I wanted to follow up on them because, like, you know, that's the traditional game sense if you just want to see mo bonus dialogue. And they tell you that they went to a location is to go to said location. But apparently not. Apparently that kid's family got taken by thieves. Oh, they're in the... Oh, of <laughs> Silly me, chat. I should have checked the item shop when they were needing beds, not the inn. Silly me, chat. Definitely my fault. Anyway. Jessica hasn't recovered yet. Belladonna has a lot to answer for. She cursed Jessica and killed her old, older brother, Eagle. I won't let that witch get away with what she did to Eagle and the rest of Navarro. I just can't leave Jessica's side right now. Hmm. Hawk eye. Can we loot anything down here? Damn. Alright, so we got a little bit of a follow-up. So apparently Eagle died. I'm sure that would be relevant if we played his story. We could see Eagle die. We can name him Gonna Bite It if we end up playing Hawkeye's story later. Oh, that slow walk to get them all in front of the counter. It's amazing. Um, I want to make sure I get a couple of spare chocolates here before I leave. Because right now it's a full heal. And then what I'm going to do... This should suffice for now. I'm gonna spend it down to about 10,000 or so. So that way I don't need to revisit shops. We just have everything we need to basically win. I feel like I'm being appropriately cautious. Find another magic rope. Okay. That should be good enough. Curiosity again. One extra defense? Yeah, I don't care. Wait, was that it for him? I was playing his Durin there, I'm pretty sure. Wow, that's it? I'm not wasting my money on that crap. Get out of here. <laughs> Unless that gives like strength 30 or <laughs> something absurd. I'm like, I'm not paying like potentially thousands of gold for like one defense. That is just not even remotely worth it. Okay. Three out of four chests were trapped. That one wasn't. I mean, Charlotte's starting to actually do real damage now because I've been pumping her strength, funny enough. Oh, th that time I straight up bullied the Prickle Beak. Oh? Wow, his luck score is off the chart today. Which is funny because I think he has the lowest luck of the group currently. Oh. Awkward. Um... 
Probably want to raise spirit for now. Okay, so I can't raise strength anymore. I can't raise spirit. Oh, I can raise spirit. Let's raise spirit then. I want to make sure he unlocks what he needs to unlock, chat. Then the rest will go towards stamina. So now we're now the right level. So hopefully by the time we get to the other place, when we fight the boss, we'll be level 18. I feel like the game heard me complain and has now decided not to give me trap chests, which I'm okay with. Listen, Chad, if complaining works, I'm not gonna knock it. Uh, we bullied that thing from existence. Another chest. Okay. Of course. The only one that I don't want. Later on, I think I do want it, because it might give us some interesting items. Right now, I really, really, really don't want it. There's nothing it could really drop me of interest at this point, unless it's something related to class upgrades. Because I don't care about money. We have more than enough. Wow, another chest. Item seed, okay. So we'll just explore a little more, and if we happen to hit level 18, we're good. Also, I took a million damage there. I'm in big trouble. I might die here. I might actually die. Uh, Heal me, please. Wow! Come on! Oh, I lived? Maybe that's the stamina kick again. Oh, that was that was pretty unfair. Sorry, Durin. We'll revive you in a bit. Bomb. Alright, before I open that, I'm gonna heal. Combat is easy until the game decides it's unfair. It's still easy. I, I don't think it's very interesting combat, sadly. It's just more kind of dumb. Like, is it is it really skill-based to be hit by zero-frame attacks that pause the screen and don't dodge? No. Like, what's the counterplay other than instantly killing them? Doesn't matter where I position on the screen or what I do. Let's go over here. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we made it back to the desert capital. I guess I'll heal. Question. How close was I to hitting level 18 out of curiosity? After we chose to I hit the wrong button again. After we went through the full desert and cleared basically every room. Just curious. Uh, I would have to do that literally again start to finish in order to level. Not worth it to me. Know what I could do though? Plant some seeds. Magic rope attained. Got a projectile that I don't ever plan to use. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those things where like, we're gonna have a long conversation and how they could have fixed the combat. They fixed a lot of things about the combat, but I think they took away what made it like truly to me like a mana game. And whenever I think of a mana game, I always think about swapping weapons and the ring system. So like you can alter the ring system for like modern purposes, but man, not being able to swap weapons blows. Because I think like where there were a lot of flaws with Secret of Mana and even to an extent the Final Fantasy Adventure, those at least made me think about like different weapon types, like different enemies had different weaknesses to different weapons. We use them for puzzles. So I was like more inclined to use the whip and the uh, axe in particular, even if they weren't like necessarily the best weapons for their categories. But I, I don't have a lot of that like 
thinking when I played the game with this one. It's just kind of like... If I whiff, I can just spam attack because there's no stamina meter. If I miss a special, I get to just do it again. The game will play itself if I hold attack bu button down. So it's just kind of like whatever to me. Which is a shame because I think this game is like at least 70% combat. So the fact that I'm not a fan of the combat definitely is a big detractor for me in terms of replayability. Um... I still go this way. Because it's, it's not like it's really introducing a new system per se. It's either replacing or just flat out removing from the other games. Like instead of stamina, you have class strikes. That's about it. I got the honk button though. Where is the shore? Did I miss it? I went to the red dot, which to be fair, I do need to go to. Where is the shore? I'm looking for beach specifically. Hmm. I will find it eventually. So it seems like I'm not meant to go this way. So I just want to make sure I don't have to come in from the other side and then we'll go backwards. Or it looks like there's a town there, so that's a bit more promising. There we go. Beach has been found. Yeah, and they kind of took away like the Final Fantasy Adventure being able to actively dodge skills. So positioning 100% mattered. And in this one, like, there's not... If they had introduced like a mini game to reduce damage or something, if it was still guaranteed to hit, I think that would have helped a lot to make it feel a little less unfair. Because you also have to compare it to like the other options that you had with like Secret of Mana. Like again, I'm not sure how much of it was a glitch or not, but like being able to like Midge Mallet or Barrel to dodge attacks doesn't really exist in this game. I can't react to the frame zero stuff. Like I either have it or I don't have it. Tons of deals. You know what? That's eight defense. And I'm just like, I don't feel like menuing. <laughs> I just, I don't feel like menuing in this game. Just gonna take our healing items and be fine. So yeah. Like it would have been interesting, like, I, obviously it's kind of looking ahead a little, but they should have had like a, at minimum, if they were gonna do every weapon type had different strengths and weaknesses, if they had adopted something that East was basically doing by this point, which was like damage types. And then we're moving over to damage types in East. I would have loved to have seen like slash bludgeoning piercing. Just in like a very simple level, I would have appreciated it a bit more. Alright, so none of these people have anything interesting to say, so I'm not reading their dialogue. I'm sorry. They just have a whole bunch of nothing. Like, go, oh, grandma's waiting on dinner. Like, I don't really care about your grandma. Are you gonna talk to me about the plot of the area or any any interesting locale? I'll talk about locale if they mention it. Could save at the end there. Don't really want to at the moment. I could see if there's a weapon upgrade here. Weapon upgrades are worth the time because that makes us not go in boss battles as long. Nope. So same weapons as the volcano area. To be expected. And again, that is also one of my biggest complaints about this game. Uh, the weapons, the stores are very disappointing. Go west in Frostbite Fields to get to a frozen cave called the Labyrinth of Ice. The true queen got her powers from the water stone hidden there. Okay, we gotta go west. Labyrinth of Ice was mentioned before as having the Mono Stone, so we already have that connection. Okay. So now we have a direction. What does this say? Snow Hamlet. Oh. Wait, you could go both north and south here? So Frostbite Fields is where we need to go, allegedly, but what was... What's over here then? What's this area? Oh, it's a boat. Oh. I guess that makes sense. It looks like the port. Okay. So I could have used the boat to get here, but I don't see why we would at this point. So let's not bother. So we got to go left. 
and we will hopefully level between now and the next boss. Every enemy is about the same level. I don't got too much to worry about. That enemy type was way easier than what we were doing at the volcano. Although I'm a little worried about the wizard here. Also, I just realized that wasn't the character I wanted to be. Give me a second. There we go. Why am I not using my special? I was like pushing him instead of specialing. That was really awkward. Yeah, I feel really sad we can't just hold the run button. Oh no, it's one of those guys. Oh, I don't like that enemy type at all. Hmm. So wizard equals annoying. Poto equals horrendous garbage. I might just try to leave this room. I really don't like Poto. That enemy is such a time waster and not worth any XP. I'm gonna do a safety heal. Yeah. It's weird because, like, they nerf spellcasting in a sense where I can't just, like, instant uh, spellcast and dodge damage. I could get hit during the spellcasting, but they don't give the enemies a lot of the same things. Like that! He just jumped up immediately and spellcast me. I can't hit him out of it. I might barely be able to react with, like, Midge Mallet, but I feel like it would go off too quickly. I don't know. Something about it. Not a fan. They tried to make the combat more fluid, but in some ways... It ended up being a downside for the system, at least in my opinion. Okay, let's try going left. Even if we get trapped here, we need XP. I'm gonna try to hard bully the wizard so he can't do anything. But I'm getting bullied by the, the sea dragon. Or slash seahorse, whatever they called it. I think that's also kind of the downside when you compare it to like some of the other games as well. So what I mean by that is like normally as we go through in a flow like in your Final Fantasy adventure or your Secret of Mana, like I'm excited because I will be able to like getting to another temple or a mana stone means I get stronger magic if I like magic. I potentially get new weapons if I'm early in the game, but it also means I get new like weapon levels. I just don't have that excitement right now. Like the closest is hitting level 18. And then after that, I'd be like, I don't want to touch combat ever again. Why would I do that? <laughs> Hopefully this hits both of them. It did. Oh, that thing split into another one. Annoying. I am really hoping I level up soon. But I know we got a while to go. We need at least six more rooms, I think. Uh, let's get some safety heals on our characters. I think 160 is enough to live. Anything lower than 120 at this moment, I'm just gonna heal. <sighs> Potos. It had to be Potos. And that is why. I healed. <laughs> wow, come on. He walked up, pushed me out of the way. Photos got to heal. That sucks. That actually sucks. What a jerk. I'm gonna heal myself after this. There's an I was gonna say, is there another enemy? I hope not. Okay. Unfortunately, because she heals enough, she gives me the minimum health I want. I'm going to try not to heal again. Hopefully we get a statue soon. Oh, or we'll just get trapped. Cool. And it's my least favorite enemy groups again. Nice. Love it. Love when that happens. Oh, wait, there's no healer. Never mind. I'll take the Sarangan or whatever his name is, the fish man. So this is just a dead end just to make me get into a fight. Cool. 
I think this game also kind of lacks, as I said before, like in the main dungeons themselves, there also aren't like upgrades. Like in Secret of Mana, for example, we got uh, weapon orbs. Uh, so that way, you know, if we explored, we had a big payoff. Final Fantasy Adventure awarded you with like spells and or armor. I also just don't feel rewarded at all. Like we cleared Volcano and what did I get out of it? A level? I, I literally got nothing other than that. I didn't get any new key items. It's just those kinds of things where like, man, if they had tweaked the reward system a little bit, I would have been so much happier. I wouldn't be here complaining about it. So it's like, it takes like to me, like, I think it has a core of an interesting game. Like the story is a lot better than Secret of Mana. It's a lot more fleshed out than like your Final Fantasy adventure. And I think most of the mechanics in the game work. It's just, they're not, they're just not exciting. Unfortunately. Like, I have so much healing. I don't really feel like I'm going to be challenged by the bosses in this game. As long as I, like, put on my thinking cap and buff debuff, I don't really think I'll die to a boss unless I get one shot. And even then, I have, like, a million revives. So I'm not really feeling too worried about anything. Let's heal ourselves here as I open this up. Please don't be a mimic. You can be anything else. That's fine. Spare chocolate's actually pretty good. So we're going to be at mostly good health, and we're going to use her MP. Which I don't like to do because it is kind of slow. I'm, I'm at the point where I'm honestly considering not healing with her spells and just menuing chocolates to save time. I'm thinking about it, Chad. I want you to know I'm already at that point <laughs> thinking about it. I don't think her healing is worth it yet. Hopefully when we get to AoE heal, it'll justify it. But right now, it just feels very slow. I think I'm playing too cautiously. I think I need to go more wild. So if I got to heal again, I'm just going to get some candy, I think. Ideally here in the next two or three rooms, we should level, but we'll see. If we don't level before the boss, it doesn't really matter. Because again, we needed to clear a lot of rooms. Okay. Yeah, so I think if I got a heal here, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and pop a candy. But ideally, this will be a level up here for somebody. It wasn't. Okay. That's fine. Shorter animation. I don't gotta wait for her to cast either. Oh, Sahagin is the reptile thing. Come on, level up. There we go. Hit 18. Controller. Don't. Controller. Stop it. Okay, so I can't get Spirit. I can get Stamina. I think I have to take Stamina here, which sucks. So I don't want to level further since I seem to hit some kind of cap. So here's an example where I'm just going to use Chocolate rather than heal twice on these characters. I'm tired of her healing animation. So we are about the right level. If I level again, that will be a potentially unfortunate. I am really getting juggled a lot. That's kind of annoying. It's fine though. It's gonna go ahead and heal. So we are so close to leveling. And it insta-healed when I went to go do my special, because of course it did. Of course it did. What a troll. Amazon is leveled, so her strength is already capped. Uh, let's give her stamina. Right, what happens if I go down here? I'm just looking for the dungeon at this point. Oh, I got trapped. That's really unfortunate. 
So now we're taking more fights than I want to. So I no longer want to fight anything unless I have to. Okay, I killed you. Ah. This is in the middle of a combo. Hopefully it, I almost did something bad there. Uh, I'm getting a little worried. Oh boy, took a lot of damage there. Oh, should be fine now. So they're level 19. So that means I'm, I am getting slightly more XP than expected. Ooh, it opened another path. Um, I think in this scenario, I'm just gonna use heal because I gotta walk anyway. And then use up her other heal. We have like a million fairy walnuts. I'm really not that worried about it. So my HP is looking pretty good. Ideally, I'll get through here without having to kill everything, but the witch slash wizard is going to make this more difficult than it should be. Let me reset the room. Uh, I found a heal statue. So save me some chocolates, because I had a feeling we were close. So ideally here, this stone will let us upgrade. And then you will not see me fight a lot of things on purpose for a little bit. Until their enemy level starts really getting up there. Wow, the off-screen spell to hit me as I'm trying to just leave the screen. So rude. Hey, it's the knight that hurts Sylphid. Cease your toil. The mana stones will be activated and the portal open no matter what. The mana stone will belong to the Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord, my father took that thing to his grave. He sacrificed his life by throwing them both into the abyss. Are you... Need a haircut. Huh? You know me. Who are you? He dot dot dots. How mysterious. Machine golem mess attacks. Alright, given this sounds like boss music, let's just pump up. So again, we have max damage Charlotte going in. Cancel my damage animation with items. I guess that's the closest to skill. Also, I took like... Why did I take 300 damage? What? I got hit twice. Holy. Difficulty spike question mark? Uh, that's annoying. So I'm at least a good level. Got them both with the overly generous hitbox. So I'm gonna focus this guy down. Maybe I'll do a special attack here. Get them both. Well, this is another scenario where I don't think healing magic would be good because there's too many targets. So I'm glad we brought a million chocolates, by the way. I got two left. It's fine. I'm gonna candy myself, because I can. Give myself some safety HP, that way I'm not completely low on HP. <sighs> She's getting mauled. Seems like one of them died though. Okay, we're almost done. No, the Dragon Lord can't be alive. That'd mean my old man sacrificed his life for nothing. I ain't buying it. Oh, they dropped an item? Mana Stone is nearby. I can feel the Elemental's presence. Let's hurry. Before I open this and get trolled, let's heal. Since fighting that didn't heal me, by the way, afterwards. Let's see what's in here. Wow! Wow! The boss drop was trapped. Wow. I'm so disappointed. I'm not surprised. I'm just disappointed. Alright. Let's get our chocolate back up. Because I bought spares for this exact reason. 
So I feel like I came decently prepared. I didn't use the honey elixirs. I'm probably just gonna go back and save, just in case there's another boss fight. So we're literally the level I want to be at before we do anything else. I'm seeing a bigger hit point disparity between the characters. The stamina is starting to make a difference. Please kill this guy before he does anything. Oh, there's only one enemy on the screen. Cool. It's got a little bit of bonus XP. Question is, do we have to have a long fight for the Mana Stone, or is it just right here? Just right here. The Mana Stone's giving off energy! Is this not a good thing? We can let the others open the portal, and once they do, we could take the Sword of Mana ourselves. No, we can't let them release the energy like this. Even if it opens the portal, it'll permanently wither the mana tree. The more energy that's released, the more it'll weaken the power here. It might even break the Benevidon seal. We must find the elementals before the forces of evil release all the mana energy. Then we can open the portal and secure the sword. Please understand. Where's Undine? Forgive me. I understand. I just want you to know how dire the situation is, but we can do this. Sniff, oh my, chat. Undine! You're crying, are you hurt? Oh no, you're on such a noble quest. I was just so moved. Do pardon me, with my mana getting weaker. I've been so quick to tears lately. Have no fear. I will gladly lend my power to your cause. Happy to make all of your acquaintances. Can the powers from Water Elemental, Undine. Okay, but can we level up our classes? Try to switch your class. Close your eyes and focus your mind. So we should be the right level now. Come on, focus harder. Here we go. Which class do you want to switch to? Once you pick one, you can't take it back. I'm assuming the bottom one is the dark option. I think I went the dark option, so we'll pick this one. So we've leveled up into a gladiator. I'll find out if I did it wrong or not, and we'll just redo the cutscene. Need a haircut. Switch from fighter to gladiator. So let's take a- we should probably take a look at her stats before I upgrade. I forgot to do that. To compare. Oh my gosh, when I hit the wrong menu button. It's like five seconds lost, my bad. So I need about 2,700 to level again. So he's at 8 in all of his main stats, 12 in strength, pretty solid. So I think I'm going to make him potentially a duelist, I think? Maybe? The game doesn't have an in-game description of the character. Uses saber magic, but then doesn't have any saber magic. So he actually doesn't have enough spirit yet to use his abilities. That really sucks. <laughs> That really sucks. Wow. I've been leveling Spirit at a decent rate. I would just like to state to the chat, it's not like I didn't do it on him, but I it must need like 10 or 11 or something. Because it was at like 2 as a reminder at the beginning of the game. So it's not like I left it completely untouched. So he leveled up, but he did not get the only thing I wanted from that level up. That is so sad. He did get a new ability here, though. I don't know how to make him choose which one to use. Maybe I have to do it in here. I'll make him do Spin Slash. Yeah, that should be fun. Alright, so then we're gonna switch to... Charlotte. Remake is you could change back the classes. I mean, it's just kind of nebulous what these do without looking at a guide, so I can already tell you I'm not a fan. I don't think I want a Priestess. Let's go Enchantress. We'll have Dark Charlotte.
Twinkle. Switch from cleric to enchantress. Please tell me she has AoE heal. I beg of you. I swear if she doesn't have it, I'm going to be so tilted. <laughs> I'm going to be so tilted, chat. I keep thinking that's... I really should just swap these on the controller so I don't do that. It feels really unnatural to me to hit square for the menu when start is also a menu. So we have 11 in strength, 9 in spirit left for Leneth. Let's swap the character. So she's... Her intelligence went up by a lot, as did her luck. So I don't know if I want her to go Necromancer or Warlock yet. I'll think about it. I believe Necromancer lets me cheese certain fights because uh, she does like a 999 damage move. And she also still doesn't have the other magic. Wow, the whole point of leveling. I'm so underwhelmed. I can't even I can't even describe to you the immense disappointment I'm feeling right now, chat. Other than it's bad. It's really bad how disappointed I am right now. So so far, this hasn't really done anything of interest for what I want to do. Do you at least get something? So sad, chat. Okay, well, I'm gonna- we already called her Leneth. I'm gonna commit to the bit. We're gonna make her Valkyrie. So she'll be the only light-based character in the whole party. Which is funny, because it, it made her armor go dark. I would have thought looking at this, this would have been the dark character, but whatever. Uh, what did that do to our stats, just for a reference? Did it do anything of interest? I did it again. It made our mediocre stats level. But I'm still not really thrilled. I mean, it technically raised our dex and luck a little bit, which I guess is useful. I don't know if I want to do Vanitas or Star Lancer. I think from what I remember... Somebody mentioning to me between streams. I think Vanitas gives Freya, which is more thematically on point with Valkyrie profile. Star Lancer is the actually good one, though. <laughs> so, I, I mean, like, I could just commit fully, but so far I'm committing. We'll see how I feel when I get there. I believe Star Lancer gets a summon that silences everybody, so she could shut down a lot of annoying encounters. And she also has learned literally nothing. Use the stat boosting magic. Well... It would be nice if she did. Uh, it would have saved me some time from the market. Would have saved me some time. So anyway, let's have her attack nearby enemies and land surge. And see if this is good enough. So wow, chant. That was a... Uh... I'm going to give it a D. <laughs> the, the expectation versus reality is brutal. We got nothing of interest. Our most unimportant stats have leveled, and I don't care at all. I mean, we're going to level Spirit on the characters so I could get, hopefully, some abilities at, on them at some point. But it seems like I do need to still grind levels, sadly. Let's go save our choices, since I think I did everything correctly. So I guess I'll fight my way off the mountain and not use the escape rope, question mark. So that leaves two locations left. We've gotten the level up. So hopefully at least if we hit level 19, it means that our, uh, for example, if we need to level strength, it's not capped anymore. Because I believe the game does have hard caps on stats based off your class. So they're characters that will just naturally be way stronger than other class choices. And given the game doesn't really give you that information without looking up a guide, uh, you're on your own. Oh, there's Spin Slash. Okay, we could do our Chrono Trigger impression. Okay, that's useful. So at least our class strike is good. So we'll, we'll elevate it to like a C minus. But otherwise, I didn't get, get anything useful for bosses. Ooh, interesting. I can choose whether or not I want to activate the weaker special or not, which is kind of a shame because it means if I'm leveling too powerfully, I will not build up the higher level abilities since it isn't carried over between fights. Which I guess this is like another thing. If they had done it more like a... If the meter never left, it would have been interesting to potentially fight weaker enemies to hoard the special. 
but as it is, not super relevant. So I did not get the ability to multi-heal yet. I just need more spirit levels, apparently. And again, Chada knows. I was putting a bazillion spirit points in the other character. I do want to see what our level 2 is, but I don't think the enemy is going to survive long enough for it to matter. I think that'll kill before I get to activate. I'm going to try it, though. I tried. So his, his class strike looks good. I'm not sold on the other characters yet, but we still need to see her spear attack. Like, two more strikes? Alright, so that's a pretty quick animation. I like quick animations. That makes me happy. So with our higher luck... We got the Undine icon. We had a better wheel there. So we saw the effects of luck. As I mentioned earlier, I don't think crits work in this game still. Question mark. Or they rarely happen and it doesn't matter. You get to pick. Oh, hers is a single target? That is not good. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's better for her to pause the screen, maybe, so we get guaranteed damage. Holy. Getting different icons. I don't remember what those do. I guess I can officially hit the right menu, because I gotta check the storage. What does Lumina icon do? Let's get rid of Magic Rope for now, just so I can see what it does. Oh, that menu lag! It's so intense! <laughs> Holy... Oh, it just lets me cast spells of that type. I mean, I guess that's fair if you picked all melee characters. I'll give them that, like, it's somewhat useful. Um, I'm going to just put Dart in here for now. Whenever I decide something's annoying me, I'm just going to chuck it at him. Man, oh man, chat, would a AoE heal have made me so happy here? But alas, just disappointment. Although, if I looked at that correctly, did her healing amount go up by a lot? Hold on. How much did that heal by? 281! Hmm. Alright, so it went from healing like 180-ish to literally full HP. So the class level up at least made the single heal better, I guess. I'm still leaving it at C- minus until I see new spells. They split. They split, but then that happened. Yeah, so his damage looks pretty good. Love to see it. Oh, I kept a meter there. Oh, but then it disappeared. Never mind. I got excited. I was like, wait, can you actually carry resources now? Like, it just goes down a level? I would have accepted that. That would have made me more excited for the combat. But no. Felt like that was, that was false hope, chat. <laughs> I tried so hard. Anyway, I do want to level again to hopefully get our spells. So we'll be focusing on spirit for literally all three of our characters. I'm not going to bother with strength for a little bit. Oh. He's already dead. He just didn't know it yet. So, so far, it's going mostly smoothly. I don't feel like I have regrets over not taking armor so far. So we just have two more bosses to go. And then the main plot of the game, I guess, will begin, quote-unquote. I'm just gonna hit the dually button. I don't care if he's dead already. Just wanted to send a message.
Let's do a simple power strike there. More herbs that I don't care about. Did I go right or up to go back to town here? I must have gone up. Well, at least we got to see what this area was. This should stop her from dying. I needed one more strike to fill the meter. It's so sad I was so close. Oh. Uh, spirit for sure. Oh, there we go. Healing, healing ally. It said light, healing light plus one allies. Nice. We were one level from getting it. Okay. Things are improving. This, this is what I call the time save, so I don't have to menu as much. And her healing is actually still pretty good. 240. It's completely fine for where we are in the game. So maybe just one more stat up will give us the spells. Because I've been pretty diligent at giving them abilities. So okay, so we got the main one that I wanted from the game, because that saves me time. He now has an AoE screen clear. It is a bit slow. But I'm okay with the damage. Being able to stop the screen, I think, is more important there than, like, real-time speed. Did he hit me out of Spin Slash? He I saw Spin Slash pop up in the text box, but he must have grabbed me right as I did it. That's kind of unfortunate. Getting actually trolled to a whole new dimension. So we should be within, like, two rooms of leveling the other characters. He's ultra dead. Speaking of which... Spirit for sure. Learn protection on one ally. Okay. So I could defense up if I really need to. Not the one I'm looking for. Mostly just one strength up, so I don't need to use a slot in the, uh... other set of abilities. I should probably try to level. What was, out of curiosity, if I go downwards from here, what was here? So we went west right away. Oh, I am just not getting an attack out. That's unfortunate. Stone Saber. Fortunately, not useful for where we're at currently. And here is where she's going to be a lot more useful. Now that we heal everybody, for presumably no additional MP, that's pretty huge. Yeah, I think it was a 25, went down to 22. So we, we now have some of the spells I'm looking for. Ideally, we're going to get all the elemental sabers on this character, so I'm going to keep leveling his spirit for a bit and hope that our regular stats are good enough mixed with the class strike abilities. Nice. Oh, already dead. Okay, so let's use the inn. And two more destinations to go. And then I'm sure we'll get the mana sword and everything will be A-OK. -okay. There'll be no complications, no additional bosses. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now this has returned some interest in leveling. But again, if you're a newer player, like, would you... Would you necessarily know whether to level Intelligence or Spirit on some of the characters? Especially when it comes to summons. I would have thought those were Intelligence, to be honest. And in some ways they are, because they are what's required minimum intelligence to use. So it's possible if I was leveling only spirit, for example, I wouldn't have the inclination to switch which major stat I'm using to learn things. I think that's where this game really suffers from lack of information. A lot of things you could kind of gleam on your own, I don't think that's one of them. There's just kind of hidden numbers you need to hit.
unfortunate byproduct of the era more than the game itself. There's also not really a manual that goes with this game, for those that are curious. It says, use the QR code, or log into collectionofmonagames.com, and it tells you nothing. <laughs> it's just like, for those curious, it tells you nothing. So if you do want to use stuff, I would recommend the wiki seems the most accurate between the two different versions. Um... Where does the boat take us, out of curiosity, if I were to use the boat? Alright, so sorry I'm not using the harbor anymore. Yada yada. So now the real question is... How do we land at our next destination? So we're, we're gearing up towards a big fight. I still have a lot of strength up. Sadly, we don't have any debuffs. Would have been nice to have here. Technically, I can get rid of the flute when we're not using it, but I really just don't want a menu. I like that we have two characters at 300 plus HP. It makes me feel pretty good. Although that also means because I'm trying to learn spells, I'm also not really going to be getting a lot of strength ups for a while on any of the characters. So we're going to be doing spirit, strength, stamina in that order. Like, it's definitely important to keep raising damage for the sake of leveling, but at the same time, like, if we potentially will get, for example, strength up, it could be more beneficial. So we have two locations left marked by the red dots in the upper left. I'm using a little bit of the upper right mini-map to get an idea of what's ahead. So our destination is over here. So I can see the trees leading to the town. There's also just a little beach here. What's this place? Please don't be a super boss. Obliss? Oblivial? Uh. Okay. Question mark? Well, I guess this will be important later. So nothing to fight, nothing to collect. I know there are hidden bosses in this game. We probably will not find them on this particular playthrough, if I had to guess. I mean, we'll, we'll give a look around, but I'm not even sure if all of them are even findable on each character. I don't think they are. I think I see the beach. So I could go back to the night market. I might do that when we're going back to the beast area. So far, the boss battles haven't really required me using them. Weird plan is blocking the way. I think we should look elsewhere for now. Wow, really? So you're gonna force me to go to the beast place first. Is that what's happening? I didn't see anything else to do. We have Salamando and Undine, so we can't burn the plants, we can't freeze the plants. Presumably that's the only way to get to the Red Dot. Hmm. Okay. Oh, come- I was- I was clearly holding away from the beach. I was clearly holding up. We even saw the camera move. Game, please. <laughs> Don't sweep it in for me with the boat navigation. <laughs> I swear that will get really annoying. I'm gonna hold up. I better not instantly go back to the beach. I'm not even gonna rotate the camera. Just go up. Oh, okay. So it faces me towards the continent. I just wanted to make sure that's what was happening. So I gotta hold right to not get in a loop with it? I need to learn cut. I just don't know what gem I get it in. Yeah, if only we had Ivysaur or something. So, like, chat, this is an example of, like, stuff that's, like, really easy to find when you test games. Please don't point the player literally back at the place they were at. Alright, so presumably there's no other place I can land to hit this other place. Felt like hitting the horn button. Um, I'm really not seeing an option here. Okay. 
So we did Undine. The opposite of the moon would presumably be shade. But can we... I didn't think we could purchase shade at the other place. Yeah, we don't seem to be able to do anything here yet. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to swim to one of the other places for now. I'm not entirely sure what this area is. Other than it looks vaguely like the UK. Hmm. I don't see an easy way to beach here if I need to. So it's possible, like, yeah, it doesn't look like it could do anything here. Alright, well, let's just keep swimming then. Hmm. It's weird in the sense that, like, I know what we have to do, I just don't understand what we have to do first by looking at the map. So I'm gonna try to do... Can I beach here and go to the black market, or is it not gonna allow that? <sighs> I, don't, I don't think it is. Damn, otherwise we have to walk the whole golden road just to get to the ship. <sighs> That's not worth it to me, Chad, I'm sorry. Alright, so let's try to figure out how to get to the Beast Kingdom while we're here. So we see a big kingdom there. Hmm. Oh no, is the beach on the other side? That is really unfortunate if that's the case. I should have been pay paying attention to the upper right to see if it showed me the beach. Honestly, forgot to look there. I was just visually looking at the map. Oof, I think I gotta go the long way around. That really sucks. It kinda shows the beach. Unfortunate. So let's try coming in from the other side. Oh, I can't go through there? There we go. Well, I guess our only choice was whether we did volcano or ice first. I can land here. I don't know what this would do for me, if anything. I feel like the answer is nothing. So that just leads me back to the Wind Kingdom of Navarro, which I don't care about right now. And if there's no beach over here, then I officially have no idea how to reach the destination we need to go to. I'm assuming that is the Northern Kingdom, but I don't care about. I can't get in through there. I think I see beach over here. near a small town. This will probably do. A new path appeared. Moonlight Town Mintus. Cool. Bark bark, says the dog. It's always night in our forest. That's the Moonlight Town of Mintus for you. Uh, Safety items. We got money. I'm gonna- I can purchase it. So we didn't even use these last time. I'm still getting extra. Still feeling pretty good about our speed through here, I think. So now Walnuts will have more of a relevance since I can potentially AoE heal for three, which would save me items in the long run, while also being somewhat faster. She goes, wow, human travelers? Oh no, no, you're the person that talks about Mentis, blah, blah, blah. What do you have to say? Barolia lies to the west of the Dustmoon Forest. King hates humans so much that he sent his beast cards out to attack Wendell. I'm glad it failed. Okay, let's talk to the old man here. 
I am certain that beastmen and humans can live in peace. Translation, we're gonna kill all the beastmen. <laughs> we'll be at peace, they'll rest in peace. Oh, there's beastmen in here. Don't let them know our plans, chat. Our town is peaceful. We refuse to fight. Simultaneous mages came a little while ago, but they realized we wouldn't attack. They looked for the forest. What were mages from Altina doing here in the first place? Are they at war with Ferolia? The friendly neighborhood werewolves here. The real question I'm asking is, there it is. Is there a weapon shop? I don't think I care about armor still. Nope, same bad armor. So that means it's probably gonna be the same bad weapon, right? That we already have, that we've had for three towns. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I gotta, I gotta eat my words on this one, chat. So I think we're getting the generic weapon and then the class specific weapon. Holy, that is so expensive. So sadly, because I can't see the stats, I have to just kind of swap them repeatedly. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm definitely more left than I am right. Game, please. How did that not trigger the weapon merchant? Getting trolled. And because I- I guess I could tell by the price which one's better. Alright, so we burned half our cash. And that's fine. Because that's why I didn't bother with armor upgrades. Because I just don't care. That time, my thumb just hit both menus, to be fair. So 13 extra damage is huge. 12, ac 12 extra for Charlotte's also not bad. Ooh, 16 for the Gladiator, nice. So again, when they have potentially 200 health and we're hitting for collectively almost 40 more damage per combo, that does save time. And presumably the higher our strength is, the better off we are with the buffs. Because I'm assuming it just looks at our total stats, but I could be wrong there. So anything that will potentially make Charlotte still do damage is actually somewhat relevant. Oh yeah, did I need to plant any seeds? No, we're good. So we're gonna ignore armor upgrades, because it doesn't matter. Dusk Moon Forest is to the left. All of us in the town are beast folk, but we have no ill will towards humans. They're not joined the king's court. Instead, we live here in peace. Oh, are they? But if it's always night, why aren't they in beast form? Oh, that man. My husband ran off to join the King of Ferulia's cause. Why is he so quick to take up arms? But when will Daddy be back? Oh, we'll bring him back. He might be he might be reduced down to a pelt, but we'll bring him back. Duskmoon Forest. Ooh, level 21. Big damage from these people. Okay, glad he built up this charge. 170, 100 XP a kill. Okay. I can live with that. Listen, if I got AoE heal, this is fine. So that's much better. So we're getting about almost 50% almost more XP. This area is pretty dangerous, so I might need to level here a little bit, sadly. I killed one of them. Spin Slash will kill the other. Definitely worth getting the AoE heal before coming here, because otherwise this would have been a nightmare, for sure. So, I think I made the right choice so far. I maybe messed up with the uh, fighting the undead boss on the ship, but otherwise I'm happy with what we're doing so far. So now we gotta go left eventually, but we also need way more XP. Werewolf and Wolfman. 
So yeah, this is a pretty big damage increase for everything here. Oh, she's going in. I mean, 100, 113 is like real damage. Remember that. But yeah, basically every fight here requires a heal, which is kind of funny. So fortunately, she has got a lot of MP. So yeah, that was like two rooms worth of XP compared to the other area, just to contextualize what's happening. So definitely this area is really good for XP, but kind of unforgiving when it comes to the combat. Especially since you can seemingly get juggled like that quite easily. So I have to play a little more defensively here, I think. Ooh, Spin Slash big here. The AI building up Spin Slash is saving us a lot of time, I think, because being able to do 170-something to everybody is kind of crazy. Well, that's unfortunate. He got Guile Flash kicked. I heard the combat over sound before he died. Kind of glitched that out. Moon coin added to the storage, sure. So again, more spirit, potentially for minimum healing with this, would be very good. 242 is already at a phenomenal amount of HP to heal for an AoE. So ideally here I will not find the, the area we need to go to right away. Maybe we'll find optional things to do. So we're still not doing crazy damage, sadly, even with the best weapons. Had we not gotten that upgrade, I think we wouldn't even be able to kill anything here, legitimately. I'm seeing like some 40s and 20s, but keep in mind we added like 15 damage to our strikes, which is not an insignificant number. Why do I keep missing? This is so unfortunate. Spin slash here is going to save us again. Oh, I didn't notice my health. I didn't notice my health. Oh, I went to save by hitting the item to heal myself, but it hit me right out of it. That was unfortunate. We did just save, though. My finger did hit the right menu button that time. It just wasn't fast enough. He clipped me right as I pressed it. So yeah, that's kind of brutal. As I said before, fortunately, we, we just saved and we did all of our items and stuff already. So the question is, I still don't think it's worth getting armor. The question more is, do I need to bother strength upping for more damage against these enemies? Because they are kind of annoying. Maybe I gotta switch to Charlotte for a little bit and abuse her range. Yeah, see, she, see if I don't control Lenith, Lenith just dies. That's not good. They both died. So there's some... Maybe it's just specifically that one werewolf type that's a problem. Hmm. Because our AI friends just don't know how to deal with it, which is really, really unfortunate. So it's not the... It's not literally werewolf, it's the other one. So I gotta be careful of that. Howler, I don't think matters. Wolfman is the problem. He's like the maybe he's like the elite version of the werewolf, and that's why they're struggling with him. Are you are you are you not gonna let me heal? That was rude. Oh, just... <laughs> it's like gonna be a break on that one. I I cast that heal so preemptively, I still almost died. Holy. Yeah, like, and again, unless defense is, like, really, really not linear, like, 8 defense somehow reduces by 30, I don't think this would help me a lot either. They're just doing a lot of raw damage. I think as long as I build up Spin Slash, I should be okay. So ideally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit level 20, and then we're gonna go fight the boss. I think doing it any lower seems way too risky, given how much damage they're doing, mixed with our damage being kind of mediocre, to be honest. Even with best weapons. Out of curiosity. I really need to remap that. I'm so sorry, chat. I can't unlearn it. It's just how I play PSO in every other game. 
3,000. So that would... It's like 10 rooms. Ugh. It's so grindy. Unfortunate. Yeah, let's go this way. So I think if I stand max distance... Mostly okay. And again, these wolves are not hard to kill. The wolf man is the problem. But these guys also don't give anywhere near as much XP. Literally half of the wolf man's XP. I don't trust surviving without healing here. I don't want to see 101. Ooh, dodge the strike. I baited him away from the group, so that's nice. So if I can use my special on this guy, it's a bit more tolerable. Or he'll just... Frame zero, basically one-shot me. Cool. Love, love the counterplay there. Love it. Couldn't use my heal magic because they hit me out of range of the healer. Love that too. It's my favorite. <laughs> right, Chad? That's my favorite. Okay. So this will presumably trap us if I go this way. It doesn't. Hmm. If we could find a heal statue, I'd be more inclined to grind a bit more. Just a howler is fine. We could deal a solo howler. We did, a, we did an okay job of stun locking there. Ooh, we're at the we're at the boss already? Or at least the boss's dungeon. Hmm. I don't feel like we were that close in leveling. If we're within 900, I'll go do it. I really can't unlearn it, chat. I just I'm too tired or something. Oh, we're so far. It's not worth it. We're just gonna have to hope I can live this. Ludgar says, hmm, You had no chance of defeating me. Gorman says, Oh, that was satisfying. Do not bother with those pesky Altenians. I will take care of this mess. Please return to the palace. Yum, yum. What a veritable feast of souls for me today. Yum yum chat. Delicious. I love to gobble them both up, but I suppose I must send one off to the masked mage. Walmart Kafka, kind of. Our stores have run low after all. We need many more souls to perform the forbidden magic if we intend to open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. Can't let my master know I'm taking my own share of the spoils. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. if it isn't the no good Prince of Ferolia, have you returned home so soon? Lies, you said, said I could bring Carl back. Fool, you are the one who fell for the falsehood. Such an innocent soul. You must taste sublime. I'm so glad I turned that wolf pup Carl against you. Ah! Ugh, can't move. I think you'll be my midnight snack. Shall I finish you off just like your friend Carl? Finish you off in one gulp. Stop this immediately. Have you no manners? Can't you see you're interrupting my meal? You, you're the weirdo who stole Heath away. Where is Heath? Where do you send him? Give me back, meanie. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed seeing her get slapped backwards like that. 
Where did this pipsqueak come from? Oh, wait. You were that twerp hanging around that fellow from Wendell. He's fine, dear. Huh? T -t where is he? Well, by fine, I mean we poisoned him with dark energy. Now he works for my master, Masked Mage, as the evil priest Tainted Soul. I just knew he had potential. Now Tainted Soul is second only to me and powered my master's court, Mirage Palace. No, can't be Twu, not Heath. No! Oh, hush. I don't have time for crying babies. You can join the princeling in my belly. Wait, I'll take care of them. Oh, Lugar said it. I wasn't sure who said that. I thought I saw that traitor Kevin in the forest. There's no way I'm letting him get away. First, I'll get rid of this filth. You can help me warm up for the main event. Lovely, be my guest. Mm, I feel like this is about to be a very big difficulty job. Well, I love combat where I immediately get struck in the face. That That's my favorite combat. So we're definitely going to defense up. In fact, I might even... Uh, oh, I meant offense up. I might actually defense up here. Yeah, the Sucker Punch was real. So I'm boosting everybody's damage potential. Then I'm going to have her heal because she just took damage there. So that was a well-timed heal, because we just negated the damage, essentially. And then what I need you to do is maybe protect us if you can. Oh, why can't I select her magic? Oh, it's just being weird with me. Um, protect Charlotte, please, actually. He's officially way easier than the other BS we're dealing with in the forest. Oh, she's getting dunked, but joke's on him. I use protection. Oh, still almost one shot her. So why don't you heal everybody again? So her health total's looking pretty good. If this is all it is, I'm not that worried. Oh, he's getting bopped by Charlotte? That's just embarrassing. Oh yeah, he went to a new form. This could be bad, depending on- Ooh, that could be very bad. Let's heal. I'm immediately gonna candy heal her so she doesn't die from a punch. I feel like that's the smartest play I could do there. Nice, interrupted him. He's doing this again? Oh, this is a problem. If he's just gonna spam this over and over, we're in trouble. Could you... Could you not combo zero frame animation stuff, please? That is really cheap. Wow, that was really cheap. Cool. Well, I found out where the game difficulty is. I love not being able to do any counterplay to that. It's my favorite chat. You know what? He had this coming chat. You know what's gonna happen to him? Take this dumb dart to the face. Idiot. <laughs> right, chat? Had enough of you. Could you strength up yourself because you died? Oh, come. Come on, I was hitting him. Oh, man, this is just tedious. War of Attrition. Activate, activate, activate. Oh, knock him down here. Hi. I'm not going to let them use spells if I can avoid it. I'm just going to throw chocolates. He's officially spamming too many frame zero attacks. Where as soon as I see the animation, it's too late. I'm going to heal her again with candy. I'm going to heal one more time with candy because it's faster. 
Just we just need to bully him for a little bit and then we'll be fine. Okay, he's no longer spamming constant BS. Now now you can afford to heal. Or I can't heal because she's being struck or something weird. Can you Okay, please let me heal with her. Okay. Prep this so hopefully we don't die. One strike. I just need one strike. Oh, he died. Okay, he was easy until he started chaining his special attacks that were not interruptible. You, you just wait. Maybe I will just buy throwing projectiles just to annoy bosses like that in the future. I don't need it for the damage. I need it for the frame zero interrupt. Anyway, first try. Ah. Ludgar? Kevin. I always hated you. Born a prince and especially trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat since you were young. Ludger. I wanted the king to teach me what he taught you so badly. I loathed you and your good fortune. In the end, I was just another beast guard. Nothing more. No matter how hard I wished. But you. You hated fighting. All that talent. Wasted. I couldn't forgive that. I wouldn't lose to such a worthless prince. And yet... Udgar, you're strong. Strong enough to be king. Huh. Thanks. Maybe in my next life I'll defeat you. Don't you dare lose. Before then. Udgar! This would be really emotional if we knew these characters before this point. <laughs> you're Luna, the elemental of the moon, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's not meant to be funny but they're just like so anyway hi luna <laughs> just no no dialogue in between fairies like so anyway back to the important things yes i have been awaiting for your arrival i will grant you my power attain powers for moon elemental luna Luna, help Ludger, please help. I'm afraid. All I can do is grant his final wish. She babied him? Wah! Gurgle, gurgle. The only way to save him is to give him another chance in his next life. Wow, she just reincarnated him straight on the spot. Chan, and that's how beastmen are born. Luna just decides, you've been babied. The baby is Luger? Yes, he will grow big and strong, and one day come to challenge you again. Okay, baby Luger, I'll wait. Baba gurgle. Yeah, that baby doesn't care. Baby's done with this world. Um, is he gonna be okay in the forest all alone? Babies are raised in the wild. Forest creatures take care of them. It's the beastman way. Wow. Where is the mana stone, Luna? The Moonstone is on the first floor of this tower. Mages from Altina came to activate its power, but Lugar and his guards protected it. Then it's still inactive! But that weirdo Gorman then from before is in the tower now. Is he called Gorman because he eats people, like Gourmet? We should go after him just in case. Stay nearby in the forest. Keep other beastmen away from here. Good luck! Damn, we didn't even level from that. That was BS. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, that, that's the real tragedy. Damn. Do I have anything else worth throwing? I'm just curious. I don't think so. I have random consumables. I could use Lumina. Um... I guess I could try to silence Gormand if we do fight him here. I think Harpy Fang was silenced from what I remember, and if I got it wrong, we're living with our mistake. That's all I'm saying on that one. So far, Dream Read has not really been used at all. I might get rid of one of these just for more consumables. The Sighting Claw might let us do free damage. So, okay, so here's my understanding of how elemental weapons work. So, catch me if you've heard this one before, but elemental weapons are bugged. <laughs> So, if I elemental weapon first and then strength up, it will work as intended. So essentially, if I do an elemental buff, 
Uh, it will slightly raise my strength damage. And if the enemy has a weakness towards it, it does more damage. However, if I strength up and then elemental weapon, it gives a lesser strength bonus. So it actually undoes the strength up. So maybe it's actually not worth using then. Uh, let me try Lizard Fang. I don't know if Dream Read is worth it. I'll, I'll get Stardust Herb in case that's the full recovery. So we have like a million healing. I'm feeling okay in this department. I could restock my candy. I guess. Let's go save. So I don't have to redo that boss fight. So it went mostly fine, just the journey there was rather perilous, mostly due to frame zero nonsense. Some of them have animations, like the werewolf had a little bit of an animation, so it's not like a true frame zero, I guess. The other boss legit chained his specials. I don't think there was more than like one or two frames in between. It's pretty ridiculous, given that it's also undodgeable. So let's go inside and see what happens. Chart Moon Tower. The door is shut. Wow, that was a really dramatic backing away. I guess because the game was loading the area. Oh, the, the stone's literally right here. I thought we were going to have to fight something to get here, but apparently not. Strange to see the moonstone in the middle of a tower. I think the stone is the reason why it's always night in the surrounding forest. Mana stones are very powerful. How strange. Didn't Gorman, the man from earlier, come inside the tower? That man was pure evil, I felt it, but I don't feel anything right now. He must have left. Gorman is after the Sword of Mana, just like Belladonna when she attacked Laurent, and the Crimson Wizard from Altina. It's almost like all three of these are the potential endgame story bosses, depending on who you chose. If we leave things as they are, the mana of the world will continue to decrease. We must hurry and find the last elemental. Let's look for the Dryad, the Wood Elemental. Hero King said we should look for the Elfin Kingdom of Dior and Lamploon Woods. Yeah, but you didn't let me do anything. Is Luna gonna help us through or something now that I have Luna? Try I tried going there earlier, chat. Actually, out of curiosity. Two things. Did I stock up here properly? I did forget to get a couple wishes. Let me just do that now. I was thinking about what items were here. And I'm like, wait a minute. That might actually be relevant, because I will forget to do that later. But the other thing I'm more concerned about is, from the standpoint of XP, how close were we to leveling? Not insane. Well, five rooms... Uh, five rooms isn't too bad. I think we can level on the way out of here. I'm going to do a safety save, though. So yeah, let's, let's try to level on the way out of here, and hopefully we don't explode and perish instantly. Yeah, this is like the only enemy so far that has been like aggressive and positioning matters a little more. Every other enemy, I just kind of button mash and it doesn't matter. But because he rapid jabs and outspeeds us so hard, I have to slightly care. I don't have to care about the wolves either for the most part. If I'm vaguely looking in their direction, I will hit them and build meter. Please, please don't die. Why can't I use healing magic? Game, please. Hello? Are you messing with me? Why can't I select her? You're gonna... Oh, because she's using a special. Cool. So anyway, uh, I would like you to actually heal and not do whatever it is you were trying to do. She went down to 1 HP while casting a spell. That was interesting. And then she died. <laughs> Thanks, game. Well, so much for XP chat. She just immediately died. That's so sad. I mean, I think she was further ahead in XP than the other characters. But that kind of stuff annoys me, chat, right there. Where she cast the spell, and then she chose to die. So maybe spells aren't interruptible by death? Oh, I got arrowed. Another chocolate for later, though, is perfectly fine. So while I'm doing okay, our allies are not, maybe I should take care of Lenith while I play, so that way I space properly, because Durin seemed to be fine for the most part versus these enemies. Oh, a new enemy type. How horrendous are you is the question. 
Okay, we almost built up a super. Oh, I think that was an appropriate use. Did big damage. I think I played that room kind of well. Actually, speaking of which, so Harpy Fang does silence. I remember that. Lizard Fang burns the target. Okay. So again, we have some annoying items to potentially interrupt BS if we see it in the future. Is there any point to going down this way is the question I'm asking myself right now. Ooh, there is like a little path here, but we can't do anything yet. So I'm gonna have to remember it's like dead south of the village. There's a little brush I can't do anything with. Oh, this looks horrendous. Nice. He built his charge one hit before me. Because I got knocked further back. I like he did his attack wall already dead. That was cute. So we got enough MP to level a bit. So a little extra HP would be nice. I might bother getting armor in the next village. But right now, 8 defense isn't cutting it. If it's like 15, maybe it'll be worth it. Because more importantly, I want to make sure I always have my weapon purchases. So weapons will always come first. And she died again. So annoying when that happens. This guy just does so much damage. So she's getting further and further behind in XP, which is really unfortunate. I think the problem is more like, because the wolf is just so aggressively better than us at combat, we just get bullied super hard. Oh. Arl's grave. Oh, so I found like a... I found the original plot. <laughs> That's neat, I guess. Unfortunately, we found another stone to recover HP MP. So I'm imagining if we started the game as Kevin, we would have been about here. I remember being in kind of like a wide open plane, and maybe where the bush was cut off was where we had a fight with Carl, maybe? Because I believe you do fight him in his story. For maximum dramatic impact, of course. Why am I not building charge? Do I keep getting misses? I swear I'm in range. Chantress is leveled. Uh, can't level spirit anymore. Let's level probably strength. Learn chest knight, I think it said. Oh, we have a damage spell now. Oh. Okay. Sure, I guess. So we're just exploring this area a little bit more, and then we'll head out. Oh, so this is where the Beast Kingdom really is. That's kind of fortunate we found our way to the tower. I didn't realize they were not connected to each other until just now. So today we learned, Chan, we would have been fleeing that kingdom, and then maybe where we were at that lone bush, we fight Carl or something. So anyway, we can take advantage of the fact that we have unlimited MP to go see what this does. So I think this is the one where it just hits from both sides, but the question is, how much damage will it do? Hundred and forty-seven. Hmm. You know what? I'm kind of okay with this chat. I think we we finally have the ability to deal with some of this BS. And it's not from equipment. It's from being able to spam 154 damage single target attack. Valkyrie, let's get you with more spirit. Oh, I can't. Uh, let's give you more strength then. Learn to accelerate one ally. I wonder why, maybe I can only unlock one spell at a time, or there's also a level requirement. So he has Stone Saber, which I don't find useful at the moment. I don't know what Accelerate does. Let's see what this does. Does it just physically move us faster, or is it just accuracy up? Boosted Evade. Oh. No, I'm not excited then. 
<laughs> if it was movement speed up, I would have been like, yeah, every five seconds would have been spamming that. So now we now we can deal with the werewolf, because it costs one MP to just shut him down hard. I think chat would agree. It's kind of worth it to just do that to him over and over. Kind of okay with this. And we just full heal. Game. Bad game. Not bad. I still would have liked to have had an AoE spell at this point, but you know, maybe. Oh, awkward level up. Uh, can we level spirit? No. Uh, let's level strength, because that's all I care about. Did he learn any new moves? Lightning Saber. Okay. So when we when when we fight the named enemies, we at least know what their weaknesses will be. So in theory, I could have him just spam his own abilities. Because it does give him a strength increase. The only thing I don't know is if the elemental bonus persists between some rooms, because usually I only use them on bosses, I'll be real with you. So if we tell him to, for example, Stone Saber himself, then we have the other character Chest Knight him, and then I attack him to slow him up a little. So this should increase his damage no matter what. And he already does pretty good damage. As long as they're not immune to stone. Or have resistance to it, we should be good here. It seems like he's not doing a lot of damage, but... That's fine. Might not be worth using in casual room clear. But if for whatever reason we run out of buffs, we could do that. Eventually, Lenith will get uh, strength ups, so we don't need to technically keep it as a black market item. It does save us some MP, but if that's all she's using MP for, then it doesn't matter. Come on, one more, one more point. That was an excellent attack there. I think that killed all three. So we're all level 20 now, which is good. That means I have a little more wiggle room with survivability here. You know, Charlotte doing 29 is kind of not bad. Not bad. So at least our weapon upgrade is paying off with her strength ups. Like, she's actually contributing to some damage in the combat when she's not spell spamming. But I have a feeling in the future we're going to be spell spamming all day long. Now the real question is, do I remember how to escape here? I feel like the answer to that question is no. Oh, I missed the thrust. Let's do this to interrupt his own attacks. So yeah, now the AoE heal, super useful, saves us time. It's about as strong as a chocolate, and it'll only get better. So us hitting 21 here is also fine. But I think it's too dangerous to just try to walk past them, since they're just so hyper-aggressive. Another moon coin. There we go, we've caught up in levels. So even if they're level 23 or 24, it shouldn't be too terrible. And I will consider armor now that they're being... Well, I mean, I guess it just depends. If we don't come across another double-hitting enemy, then I don't think it matters. Wow, that really did not let me use that special attack, even though I had it for a while. Unfortunate. A 
Lots of spare chocolate for the future. So again, if I need to keep our healer alive as they cast the spell, it's good that we do have a chocolate. I'm actually tempted to buy like a million hand axes or whatever. I really hope this is the exit chat. I've lost track of where we're going. I'm assuming as long as I'm going up, I'm going in the right direction. Ooh, got bullied there. Yeah, like, look at him. He's doing like 90 to everybody. Like, this guy is such a problem. Holy, is this guy a problem? Why can't I use her attacks? Hello? That's what also kind of makes me annoyed about the game. Like, sometimes I can't tell why I'm not able to use the abilities. Like, I, like, second-guess myself to think I'm menuing in inappropriately. But it's like the ally is just, like, locked in some weird animation. And it's also weird because you can cancel being hit with items. So it's not like all states are, like, perma-lockout. There we go. Oh, well. So I think we've gotten an okay amount of XP for the next area. We just have to escape here somehow. Please be the exit. I am definitely way too scared to run past these things. If it's just the wolves, we definitely can. This guy, no way. No way do we let him do anything. She almost died, but this should help kill the other wolf. Okay. Let's get out of here. Are they seriously almost dead? Heard the fight over sound while I was doing my animation again. Need to remember, she's on the right side now that I'm not playing Duran. Okay. So let's proceed further. Definitely using the inn. I actually forgot what level the game told me. We need to get to the second class. Was it 35? We're a very long ways away from it. I'll put it that way. I don't need to think about it right this moment. I think we need to get at least to the new subtype of bosses before we start seeing the items needed for it. There's that one book that did tell us briefly where what level it was. I'll probably just check between streams. I'm not super worried about that right this moment. Um. Thank you for the good luck, Calvisham. Hopefully you get a good night's rest. Do I have an easy port that would let me go back to the night market that doesn't involve me taking a long walk through the Golden Road? That's what I'm thinking about right now. Um. Oh. I forgot there was a beach here. Let's go do something I wanted to do earlier then. I think this was the night market. Unless I switched the cities in my head. No, this feels wrong. This is going to take me back to uh, Maya, isn't it? <sighs> Alright, mixed up on the continent where it is. Never mind. I don't feel like going through the Golden Road again. I guess with how it was positioned... I'm gonna look at the world map again. Does it make sense to where the night market is? I just wanna get a better understanding. Since I have to go to the bottom left anyway, I presumably don't wanna to go to the right to exit here. Oh no, I could. Oh, yeah. 
no, that that would that's not remotely in our same direction. Sorry, Night Mar Market, I'm gonna have to skip you. I really don't have the patience to go through the Golden Road again. We still have a bazillion strength ups, which is why I bought them earlier. So the only thing different is we're bringing Luna here. Question mark. So what's different? Oh, oops, I used Lumina, not Luna. These plants are Dusk Moon Vine. My powers can unseal the path. Okay. Wapoom Woods, huh? This is where I was born. Grandpa said the elves live in a hidden country called Dio. How did she, how did she say that with an accent? D O W chat. There, there must be a way to find it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, let's see how nonsense these enemies are. <laughs> 22, not atrocious. I was expecting 23 or 24. That's fine. Oh, she's going in. Oh, the back to back? That is disrespectful. I'm even gonna pop special. Who cares? It's over. They beat me to it by a frame chat. <laughs> yeah, decrease this evade. Idiots. So, anyway, these enemies are already way easier to bully than the werewolves. But if they poison us, that could be annoying. But it's not as bad as getting hit by a werewolf punch. I'm gonna consider this a win win then. I'm so sad I keep missing, or else I'd be able to do another special attack there. Okay, good damage. I'm gonna go left. Oh, is that a healing statue? Hmm. That's suspicious. I'm definitely gonna save here. I mean, I'm okay with fighting a boss right now. I don't... I don't think I super care. I just need to know where the exit is. Level 23. So these are the enemies I thought would be tougher, and they're here now. Okay. Fair. Durin bullying people. Love to see it. Smack him real quick with the attack. Nice. Did this unlock anything? No. Well, we're just gonna go back and immediately use the statue. <laughs> so, so far this area, like, way easier in difficulty. Did they mean for the Beast Kingdom to be easier than this place, even though sequentially I have to go here next? Is the Beastmen double attacking into their stupid little, like, double or triple punch animation? It's like way tamer than this. Yeah, they're only hitting me for 56. I'll take that all day over the 100 something I was taking earlier. All day. So yeah, it just felt like kind of an unnecessary difficulty spike. Oh, GG, by the way, you're already dead. Uh, I might as well as heal. So we have a spell, which I could spam with Charlotte over and over and over again on any boss. Presumably damage is based off a of spirit since it's a summon. And that's like the only stat I'm hard focusing on her at the moment. So that's just kind of, it kind of works out. I went to do special, and the AI beat me to it. So Durin's AI seems a little better than the others. Did you seriously cancel my special by zero framing me? Wow. That is so disrespectful. I'm shaking my head, chat. I, I promise you I was mashing that special attack, and it didn't come out before the sleep. So unfortunate. Uh... I prefer... Ooh, strength up? Let's not fight these. Go this way. Oh boy, is this another Lost Woods scenario? That'll be fun navigating that later. He still beat me to it! How does he do it, chat? What a monster. Is my attack innovation just slower? I swear I pressed it. 145 experience. Yeah, it was definitely not worth leveling in the other places. I'm glad we did the bare minimum level so far. So we got to explore more of the other kingdom, which was a small waste of time, I guess, but we could 
we did get to see the grave, which was interesting. So we saw something semi-plot relevant. Wow. Nice. Revenge. Oh, she did okay damage. So at this point, we're just looking for the village. I hope I don't accidentally make pop progress before we hit this village. That'll make me kind of sad, actually. I'm noticing sleep forces me into another character. Okay, so that just brought me back here. Okay. So I'm assuming they'll tell me the path through the woods. Do I have to go up from here or something? There isn't a... Hmm... Well, we'll figure it out eventually, Chan. I'm um, just hardcore bowling him in the corner. There's nothing he can really do. Oh, he... Never mind. He whipped me out of the special. Welcome, Grunny Knight. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Only behind by a couple frames. There's more enemies here. So I got to use my special, but it didn't use my special, which seems kind of glitchy. I'm assuming that's a bug that just happened there, where I just got more than one special. Maybe because the enemy's off screen or something weird. It, it feels like that should be unintended. Hmm. Well, chat, I think it's official. I don't know where to go. We're in the forest, but where is the right path? AI beating me to the special attack again. They are really aggressive. There we go. Oh yeah, now we're just dunking on the enemies. This is kind of rude. This is rude. I'll admit, even for me, that was just rude. Okay, so I'm going to be back at the statue place. So left didn't go anywhere. Down had paths. But it looked like a pick a path. Up oh, just loot me. I mean, I'm gonna save here. Because it was good XP that we acquired. Level 21 might net us some interesting abilities on the other characters. So if I go right here, what happens? Because I think it went down last time. Okay. Uh, let me play Charlotte real quick. Keep our allies healed. Let them melee if they want to. I prefer not to deal with them. So that just leads over here. I mean, I guess I'll let them special. I guess there's no downside to this. They're already gonna get a kill, I think. Uh, so we leveled again. I can level spirit. Let's do that. Machine golem, one enemy. What's the difference between these two? One costs one, one costs two. Cool. So now our healing has improved because we leveled up. So we're healing 14 or 16 more. So now we're back at the entrance. So I don't think I missed anything then. So there, maybe we do have to go through the random path or perhaps there's some BS up here that I have to investigate. Let's just double check, BS. Okay. So I have an idea of where the entrance is. So down there just leads to a looping path. To the left leads to XP. I don't mind leveling again, but I prefer to make some plot progress. What happens if I go up from here? That should lead me to a new area. Okay. Nope, this lo just loops here. So this leads us to the crossroad. Maybe there is a path that I have to go through here to do? Huh, because I ruled out everything else. Because the left room didn't take us anywhere. The other ones are just kind of like pointless detours that don't lead to items. So I went right last time and that just loops on itself. So we'll go down. Then I went through here. Oh, they're level 24. That's right. Maybe these guys are worth bullying a little bit. Just a little bit. How much is a uh, golem doing to them out of curiosity? Okay, 
Okay, we summon the three of them. 188 damage is actually really good. It's basically like our full charge attack. Okay. Valkyrie leveled. Can I level her spirit? Nope. And let's level her strength. Nope, can't do that. Uh, let's level her stamina then, because I want her to survive. Eventually, we need to level in. Mental boost ally. That could be useful for us. Can you level spirit? You can. Let's do that. Learn Ice Saber. <laughs> I love doing the roulette spin when I only see half of the wheel. That seems fair. So now, potentially, we could set her up to be a damage dealer with spells. So I went left last time. What if I go right here? What if I go down? What if I go down again? What if I go left? Hmm. So we weren't given a solution to this. Would it be sequence breaking if I were to get this? Because this just leads here. Hmm. I would like to go to the next screen, please. So now I officially don't know what to do. So there's a path I clearly need to be told what the directions are to get through, because I, I just did some arbitrary path, didn't get through it. Everything else loops on itself. Is there some like really hidden path that I'm not seeing? Because other than that, I don't know what the solution is to advance the plot. Hmm. I might have to have a pause and think if I can't figure it out in the next minute or so. Was there somewhere I could have walked that would have been useful? So definitely have to say, not liking this dungeon. <laughs> right, chat? Just a little bit. I don't like mazes, and I don't like the fact that I know... ...potentially where to go. Hmm... So let me think. Is there anything I in the previous rooms I did not do? So I guess we do have to get through the maze. So what am I missing about this maze? Let's let's go look at it one more time. Alright, so I'm here. This resets all the enemies, right? Don't notice a difference with how anything looks. Looking okay in terms of items. I did pick up a couple of dryad icons, just thinking about if I wanted to sub those in. <sighs> hmm. Alright, chat. I think we're at the point in the game where I'm just gonna try to brute force it. Let's kill some enemies here, and then we're gonna get through it. There's something I've missed. I don't know if it's dialogue or if it's some BS with time of day. I don't feel like going to leave town to rest and change the time cycle. If we take too long, the day will update. In case it's something like, oh, the right path will only be revealed in the nighttime or some BS. So we're, we're just gonna brute force it. And the worst thing that happens is I get XP, which I need anyway. So from the entrance... Yeah, I just... I didn't want to do this, but okay, so I'm gonna go left. So let's put ourselves in the shoes. I don't think it's... I don't think it's the cardinal directions. I did try something like that before. Is it something stupid like... 
I have to like go back and forth between the different rooms. But then from here, how many more moves before I have to hit up? Because presumably, based off the position of things, the village should be up. I'm assuming my final input is up. The question is, do we go left, down, or right on this screen? <sighs> I didn't use down yet. We'll try down. I'm gonna go, oops, I'm gonna go right, and then I'm gonna go up. And if this doesn't work, we're gonna try another pattern. Okay, yeah, didn't work. We're gonna ignore these enemies. So we're gonna try one more pattern. So may maybe because it loops us to the top of the screen, it's possible down is never the right answer. So I'm gonna try one more pattern involving left right here. Do I go right here? So we could go left again. I'm gonna do that last if this doesn't work. So I'm gonna go left after this if this doesn't work. I'm gonna go up here. Take us somewhere interesting. I can't tell. Oop, I got bodied. If nothing else, I wanna go back to the statue for healing. That's how I view it. No matter what, I'm going up, I'm gonna get some healing. All right, so we didn't find the exit. Hmm. All right, so let's save one more time. So we have a couple other options we could try. Give me one second. Okay, so let's try a couple other paths. Our XP, I think, is looking okay. I'm gonna check time of day. That is not how we check time of day. It's still Lumina. Does it not change day or hours while we're in here? Because I feel like we've been in here a while, to be fair. Hmm. If so, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh well. Alright. Let's try a couple other things, and if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try sleeping at the end to advance the time. I can't think of anything else that I would have missed. I literally cannot think of anything else that I would have missed. It's probably something stupid, like they glow a different color. Uh, well, hold on. I'll, let me think, too. If I go left... It's not something stupid, like, I just go, like, left, left. Do I just walk in a big circle? I'm just curious. Will this work? It's not something like a circle, right? No, that doesn't look right. Okay. Hmm... Go right back around if I want to. Yeah, it feels like I messed up. Hmm. Well, unfortunate. I could try one more combo. But other than that, I'm out of ideas. I'm assuming it's somewhere between four and five paths will take me to the right one. So I could eliminate all of them. I was hoping to get it in slightly sooner guesses than this. That XP is kind of good though. Oop. Let's do a safety heal here. Let's do one more save. I'm gonna make one more attempt. And we'll go forward from there, I guess. Uh, 
My bad, I'm making a note here for future reference. So I'm gonna write down, oops, yeah, 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 you wanna download stuff. I'm gonna write down, I'm opening my notepad preemptively to see if we need to make notes on how to get through this. And we should be good to go. So I'm ready to write it. I didn't have my notepad open. Now my notepad is now open. So if we got to take notes. Hmm. So we're going to try one more time. If it doesn't work, we're going to try coming back at night. And seeing what happens. So we're going south through here. Ignore these enemies. I don't feel like fighting them. We'll kill this room so I can think about it. Is it possible if we go the right way, we'll always have enemies? That's what I'm also curious about. So if, it, if I'm just going to check something real quick, I went left and right, I think, at the start. If I go immediately downwards, I'm curious if this will lead to more enemies or not. If it doesn't, then uh, I'll roll that out. AI beating me to my super, cool. Does this lead to anywhere? No. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just arbitrarily... I don't see any differences here. So I'm gonna go right here and then up, and if this doesn't do it, I give up. Ah. So let, let's go come back at night or some BS. I will say, though, I am kind of annoyed because the other character is like, I was born here, but she didn't tell us what to do to get through. So not a fan of that for sure. So sadly, Chad, I think we got to back out of here since it doesn't look like time is advancing. I do want that XP, though. Oh, well, I tried. I wonder how close I am, actually, compared to the, the real solution. We'll see later, I guess. Well, I have 50 MP with Charlotte slash Twinkle. It's pretty silly. Okay. So we got a little bit of XP. From my standpoint, how much more do we need to level? 4,000-ish? It's okay. So I don't think I'll level up again before the next boss. So let's just try leaving. I could play Charlotte, that way I can let the others maybe still get kills. I think if we go up from here, it's fine. That's also fine, I'm not playing as that character currently. Yeah, they all just said, it holds some kind of secret, but they didn't tell us. Oh, is time actually advancing now? I hit the wrong button again. I don't like how close that start is to the other menu, to be real with you. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Let's come back at night. Since the flowers are glowing, it's possible that there'll be different colors at night. But again, I really don't like this kind of stuff to advance the game. You bet I will complain about this when we get to the final thoughts. This like this killed like all of the pacing of the game due to this dumb gimmick. So it just refused to become nighttime. I'm gonna go here, let it become night. Try this again.
I feel like the first time I played this game, I probably didn't even realize there was a puzzle because I probably just came here at night the first time. Hit them, move past them, no interest in them. Our allies might get a special attack here. I guess I could assist them briefly. All right, so let's try this again. If this doesn't do it, then I have no idea what the game wants me to do because they didn't really tell us to go visit anybody before coming here. We did just come from the Beast Village. They never talked about this place. Oh, whatever. Oh, what a dumb puzzle. I felt like that was just kind of unfair. I had to think very abstractly there on how to solve this. So, oh, what's to the right first? Interesting. Right down. All right, let's start writing this down. Right, down, left. In case I have to come back here, chat, I'm not doing this again. And that's it. Oh, it's so annoying. I could have maybe brute forced that. Unfortunate. I went left, down, right, and I even did down, left, right, but I did not do right, down, left. That's so unfortunate. I also thought our goal was to go upwards. So unfortunate. Elf just dot dot dots us and runs in panic. Got another medicinal herb. Can't use the inn. Let's just heal ourselves then manually. Oh, I forgot. I need to do it from her menu. Presumably none of them will talk to us and they'll just flee. Um, I'm gonna play as Durin for now. Can we use any of the shops? No. So we gotta find the person to talk to. See, I'm happy we're level 21. That's a good sign. Is there any other... He's presumably not going to talk to us. So we need to find whoever the mayor is. Equivalency. Hopefully he's in this big house. Also, I'd like to talk to the guy to the right, but the one on the left fled me. If that was intentional. Elfin Elder says, Twinkle, is that really you? Who are you? You do not remember. You were very young when you were taken to Wendell. Should not be surprised. Huh? Are you the Elven Elder? How did you get here? Something happened to his eminence. I cannot imagine he would allow you to travel this far without reason. Elder, we need your help. You are the ones chosen by Fairy herself. When the Priest of Light put a barrier around to protect Wendell, he used forbidden magic that came with the curse. Now he's fallen to an incurable illness. I did not think I would ever hear tell the Priest of Light again. It must be Laron and Shella's will from the world beyond. Mama and Papa? Yes, my child. Dividing their families caused Laron and Shella much pain. Humans and elves are forbidden to marry. His eminence and I were against the Union, afraid that it would shorten their lifespans, but their love was more important to them. Sheila left Dyer and eloped with Laron. Once I saw their happen happiness, I, re I relented. After a time, they had you, Twinkle. Though they departed this world thereafter, your parents did not regret their decision. To atone for abandoning his son, his eminence swore to raise you, his granddaughter, in Liron's place. That is when you left Dior. And to avoid future tragedy, I sealed Dior away from humans. Only elves know where to find this settlement. Papa, Mama, where? Lenneth dot dot dots, leave her be. 
regarding his eminence's illness. There's nothing I could do with the mana of the world so depleted. It sounds like her only hope is to get the sword of mana and ask the goddess of mana to heal him. Sir, Fairy is helping us find the elementals so that we may open the portal to the sanctuary. Where is the woodstone? There was a mana statue in the northwest of Lamp Bloom Woods. Borrow Luna's power at night, and the Lamp Bloom should let you through. Well, yeah, thanks for that. A little late for that, right, chat? Screw you, Elder. <laughs> Dumb puzzle. Twinkle, hey. I know, I know. Grandpa and he should laugh at how dumb I'm being. We gotta get that mana sword so that I can save Heath and Grandpa. Until then, I won't cry. I'm doing fine. Let's go find the West... West Elemental. Oh my gosh, the W's are killing me. Thanks, Mr. Eldwa. You've grown so much, Twinkle. Best of luck. You're a horrible abomination of human and elf. <laughs> You're a sin on this world and you killed your parents. That's all I learned out of that story. Only elves live in D Dior? We live apart from the humans where it's more peaceful. Oh, now they want to talk to us. North of Lampwood Woods is a vast primeval forest called the Woods of Wandara. Okay, that was mentioned before. So let's go get some upgrades. I guess I'll buy armor. It has been multiple places since then. But I'm going to get weapons first. Definitely want that. Definitely want that. What's the difference between the... Oh, 40 gold. I was like, what's the difference between these two? Wow, that costs all of our money. So, possibly not getting the upgrades I'm looking for. Let's equip our weapons. Whatever we sell will maybe go towards armor. Maybe. But feeling like I don't really want to grind that much for it. We are going to get maybe like 4,000 or so back, which is good. Honestly, I thought our damage was not terrible. So I don't even know how necessary this weapon upgrade was, to be honest. I'm not going to say no to 14 more damage. But like, we were legit killing enemies on the way here. I didn't feel like I was really struggling. At least not compared to the werewolves. Those were some pretty BS fights. So we're gonna go back up to 10,000 or so. I really hope I equip them properly. Anyway, worst comes the worst, then one of the characters is not fully upgraded. We'll fix it later. How expensive is armor at this point in the game? Only 14. Oh, actually, reflex armor is 40 something more defense. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll settle for that. Wait, can I swap who's here? No, that'd be too convenient. Why are the menus like that? I just want to see what the difference is. I don't care about the helmet. The helmet seems garbage. I mean, taking 40 less damage, it, it feels like it's going to make the game too easy. I'm already only taking like 55, just for clarity. If this is a straight linear damage reduction, this is like way overtuned, if I'm going to be real with you. I'm still not bothering to buy helmets, by the way. I just don't care. I hit both menu buttons in my defense. So I could have waited, I guess, to sell stuff, but I did need the armor. So that was almost 40 more magic defense and 40 physical. That was probably worth it. Unless the helmet grants, like, insane magic defense, I don't see why I would bother getting it at this point. Like, we'll get it at the end of the game when we got nothing better to do. But potentially taking 50 less damage here will save me some time. So again, not massive magic defense increases. But maybe enough that if I'm under level, I don't die instantly. Uh, so we got some spare cash for future upgrades. This seems like a pretty significant defensive increase. 
And as I mentioned before, I wasn't feeling that weak in here. It definitely went way smoother than the uh, stupid werewolves. Is there another exit here or is it just a big loop? Just double checking. Okay, just a big loop. Tappa 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 as we run. What do you have to say, random elf? Two small graves near the entrance to the village are for the lovers who lost their lives. Suppose that Laron and Sheila are together in the beyond. Dryad protects the woodstone, though I'm sorry to say we haven't seen her in the area for a thousand years. Can you find her? Elves live much longer than humans. In order for Sheila to marry Laron, she had to use secret magic to turn her into a human. Unfortunately, that magic not only shortens an elf's lifespan, but also shortens their chosen partners. It's quite tragic. Oh. So she had to use forbidden magic to have Twinkle? That seems not worth it. I'm scared to rest and change the day-night of this area. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> hmm. Any special dialogue here? Sheila's grave. Laurent's grave. Huh. So... Where do we go? <laughs> right, chat? This didn't help me. Nor? Just let me back here. I mean, our damage is all... I said before, our damage was fine. So if this is suddenly doing like 200 damage, this would be huge. Eh, like 192. Hmm. I'm just gonna murder my way out of here. Yeah, we're taking way less damage. I think I took 15 instead of 50. So it might be a straight damage reduction, which is kind of crazy. It makes me really glad I didn't bother buying armor up until this point, because the armor was like, what, an 8 point increase compared to 50? So glad we saved a lot of money by skipping that, and potentially I could skip another set of armor here. It's supposed to be the Mana Statue the Elder mentioned. What will I do? Oh. Interesting. I have never seen this plant, but it smells divine. I believe this is the path you seek. Okay. There you are. Would it be alright for me to take one of these flowers with me? I do love the smell. Anyway. <laughs> right, chat? Well, let's continue. Everybody's now at 300 health. We have good magic defense. Our physical defense is pretty high. We got the best possible weapons. It feels, it feels promising. And I should be able to stun lock with this character as needed. Just let the AI spam stuff. Yeah, they're taking 11 instead of 50. And again, like, I don't think the other armor would have helped me with the werewolves. This armor definitely would have helped me because it's like a 40 point increase. But like eight, I would have been taking 70 instead of 90. I don't think that would have been worth it. Anyway, I'm going to ignore combat for now. <laughs> right, chat. Bye. You don't do like 100 damage anymore. You're trapped. Oh, we're just immediately at the boss. That's awkward. Uh, new strength up each other. Ah. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to do... After Can you intelligence boost her? I'm assuming this will buff the damage we do here. We'll find out in a moment if that's true. Boosted magic effects, boosted magic defense. 164? Okay. Let our allies do whatever they want. Hundred eighty six. So they do roughly the same. I could save MP by not using the one eighty six version. Yeah, let's do that. Their damage is not that significantly different, sadly. 
So yeah, our allies will do whatever they need to do. I'm just gonna spell spam. Cool. So now we're playing Secret of Mana, <laughs> where all I do is cast spells. And hey, if they happen to kill things during the boss fight, this is fine. Ooh, nice little AoE. So go ahead, summon adds, I don't care. 293, big damage. Using some kind of bio attack. They did decent damage to us. Let's heal. Oh, it was Twinkle Ram. I wanted this one. So it looks like our damage is pretty significant on this boss. So I could cheese the boss by doing, like, selecting another character and just casting spells over and over, 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 and over I mean. But let's get our allies a chance to do damage. So we might get more XP this way. We are letting, letting ourselves do a lot of damage here. Ooh, good follow-up. Love that. Your allies potentially getting the big AoEs here just nets us more XP. But we're gonna weaken the boss up a lot more. I mean, if the boss isn't gonna spam any annoying spells, I was about to say, I don't mind taking it slower just for XP as I get knocked unconscious. Uh, I would like to wake her up. Curiosity, can I silence you? That did 163 damage? Uh. -huh. Wow, chat, these throwables, these throwables are better than me casting spells. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I just beat the whole game throwing throwables? That seems kind of unfair how much more damage that did than everything else we had. Huh. Well, again, if those little mini enemies die, it's just more XP for the team. So he's just immune to damage right now, unfortunate. Alright, listen, if you're just gonna resist every attack, Take damage. Even not class item checker. I mean, it's more effective than our other strat, sadly. And again, our damage dealt like that. That chest knight does as much as a throne item does. For clarity. So I can't do anything with them. I'm gonna try to twinkle rain to wake them up. Oh, too late. Oh, the boss does have a face. So we still have a lot of healing potential here. Oh, I was wondering why I wasn't attacking. No, no, that's fine. I hit special attack like eons ago, chat. There we go. Might as well just build meter then. So let's go for real-time advantage. I could still knock this boss. I just wanna, wanna build more meter. Oh, are you now immune to damage? Right as they went to do that. That is so unfortunate. Let's wake you up. Yeah, that took good damage. Just make sure our ally is able to do damage, and that's about it. The boss is doing so little damage. This is such a difficulty cliff. Like, we climbed the mountain that was L the Luger boss fight, and then this is just free. Like, I have no fear of death in this boss fight. He only did 76? Ludgar did like 240 plus. I don't care about this boss. Yeah, like, so far, I literally do as much damage with those claws as I did my spell on a character that is literally specced only to improve her spell damage. Like, that's so sad at how, how equivalent they are. So I literally could have gone to the black market and bought every throwable 
and I probably would have been better off. I don't know how much they scaled on our stats or whatever, but it is sad that they are comparable, no matter how you look at it. Because the other one's a zero framer. Alright, now he's spamming constantly. Unfortunately... Oh, see that? That was like significant damage. Yeah... It just led to like a lack of satisfaction. Like I got a new class and I'm like, wait, I could have just been throwing weapons and they're like vastly more effective than a class level spell. Like that's just really sad. Anyway, at least we got some strength up usage on this enemy. And again, I'm not sure if strength up ever falls off or whatever. Ooh, apologies for the screen flashes. Okay, that didn't really do a lot to us. And the boss fight's over. So I think we can agree that boss fight was like... A third of the difficulty? It did one move that did 240. It didn't chain them, it had big gaps between attacks. It fed me XP, so I'm probably gonna level here. Look, there's something there. Huh? Oh, it's you, Dryad. You saved me from the Glapavine. That monster ensnared me in its grasp and sapped my power. So that's how it got so big. Thank you ever so much. Forgive me for causing you so much trouble. We're happy to help, will you help us too? I'm sorry, but that monster sapped all my power. Fear will be of no help to anyone right now. I would only get in the way. Dryad, you are the wood elemental. Your powers are like mana itself. I am certain you would be a help, not a hindrance. Besides, you're still strong after getting trapped by that monster. You'll definitely be able to help us. Are you certain? Yes, come with us, Dryad. We need you. Thank you. You are too kind and I don't deserve it. But I will do my best to help you all. Tame powers from Wood Elemental Dryad. That's our eighth elemental, right? Let's call Vaskov and ride to Ob... Obliv's... Obliv Isle? How do you... S How would you pronounce that, chat? Would you would you separate it like that? Like, would it be Oblivion? Oblivion? I imagine it's supposed to be Oblivion and an island as like a poor mantois. But how would you actually say it? We don't have much time. This is our last chance. What's the Isle? The Isle is where mana energy from all corners of the world converges. In the past, when the magic used to control the mana stones were sealed, the whereabouts of the Isle were erased from everyone's memories. When I used the last of the mana power in the sanctuary to get to this world, I appeared in the sky above that island. Let's hurry. Damn, that didn't level me? Seriously? How much do I need to level? Oof. Need to clear four more rooms on the way back. Which I mean I'll do. I'm not that far from it. Oh, he's ultra dead. Goodbye. Get comboed. Well, chat, there's one of our projectiles again. So the claws did a lot of damage, but it's possible the darts don't. Maybe that would make it a bit more balanced. But that consumable was way better than our spell. And faster. So it's possible if dart only does like 60 and axe only does 90. Then it'd be a bit more balanced. I guess we'll find out. I'm still not entirely happy that throwable did that much damage, but that's fine. Should be leveling extremely soonly. So there's not really a big difference between the summon magic of hers. It's do I want to cheaply do damage or do I want to do more damage and not care about my MP? And it's not a significant amount of damage either. Like it's only 20, despite having nearly max spirit, sadly. Should kill him, I think. Good call. I think one more room we might level. So by the time we leave here, I should level, as long as I don't skip any fights. Which is probably worth doing, because it's just on the way back anyway. I'm not like walking in circles on purpose or anything. 
like I was earlier, trying to figure out the path. So yeah, we're just not gonna go back to the village elder. Let him do whatever he wants. No, that was like one enemy shy. I think we need two more enemies, specifically. These guys are also worth slightly less XP. Strike? Ah, can I level spirit? Nope. Let's level strength. Learn flame saber. Nice. Valkyrie leveled. Can she level spirit? She can. Let's do it. Strength of one ally. That's exactly what I wanted. Can I level spirit? No, I can't. Let's level strength. So again, like, if she's forced to auto-attack, at least her damage is okay. <laughs> because we've been, we've been pumping that raw strength, chat. Like, listen, she's pumping iron. She's not skipping arm day at gym. I don't super care about her HP, given our armor is so strong right now. So might as well as make our auto-attacks do more damage. Dare I go straight to the destination? That's what I'm asking myself now. I think before we do that, I want to check one thing out. Is there a place I can land on the left side here? If I go down here... To go to the black market, for example, is there a place for me to dock? I think it's over here. So it has to be facing the water. I think this is like it right here, right? Yeah, I think this is the one where you come through the golden road. Is there any beach here? It's such a shame I can't go into the port directly. That is actually kind of an unfortunate downside. So it's just kind of a hard place to reach in general. So that's definitely a design choice. I think we could all agree, chat. Like, if you have items that are, like, there to fill in the problems with your party, why is it so irritating to get to compared to other things? Yeah. If they put a beach near it, I wouldn't care, but it's like, that's literally the only place I can go for these buffs. Just, just so chat is aware. Like, that's it. There's no other place in the game that will sell me this. Um... What is all this? Oh, this is the other end. Curiosity, can I... To save time, is it possible to go to the merchant? Did they update the ships? I want to save the game regardless, so I was going to go here to save before we go do the other thing in case it's an immediate boss fight. I'm just curious if this game will not waste my time and finally let me go to the night market from here. No, it won't. <laughs> right, chat? Just big sigh, chat. Extremely big sigh. I will go to the black market one more time, and I will probably not return there for the rest of the playthrough. And I'll show you why I don't want to go this way. Because we have to go through the whole place just to reach it. Enemy doing literally zero damage, that's sad. If I could hold the run button, I'd probably be less annoyed with it. I could have just skipped all these enemies. But the fact that I got a slow walk through here... Not a fan. Curiosity. Game delayed that hit for an eternity. Like on a large map, maybe it's worth killing them to speed it up. Maybe. I definitely don't need the gold or XP. Nice multi-hit there. 
Oh, there's one more enemy. So unfortunate. So that's where we would normally go through the cave, just for clarity. We're still not there. We gotta take this trek all the way back, because I I don't think there's a faster way for me to do it, because it'll take me to another port. Like, I guess I could try to, like, land at the other ports that lead here. Maybe to save time if I really need to come back here in the future. Because it's probably faster for me to take a ship and leave at this point, because this town takes an eternity to get to. So we're here at nighttime, which is the important thing. Let's go see if anything upgraded here now that we've killed everything. I have a lot of cash, so I'm not super worried. So, I'm curious about the Siren Claws. So, I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna go hit pause, this time on purpose, to go put it into our inventory. So, we already have it equipped. What does the Siren Claw do, as a reminder? Oh, it's just the wind boost. Uh, it's not what I thought it was. What? Oh, I guess it was like a... It was a claw weapon, but that's not what I need. Okay, that's not as useful then. I mean, I could use the coins, maybe. Hmm. What do I want to do then? Let's take a lot of the ice coin. I'm curious if this will do decent damage or not. So let's take nine of these, and then I'm gonna go to the other side. So we did use a claw that caused silence and flame, but we can't buy it here yet, presumably. So let's buy some of those, just to see how it feels. So we'll get rid of Siren Claw, since it's not what I thought it did. Uh, we got scales, we got... Why don't I see it? Oh, I've literally nine of them, that's why. Still have a lot of Drake scales. I should now have strengthened though, so I don't technically need those anymore. Curiosity. Oh, gotta wait for her to walk. That is so annoying. Light coin, poto oils, heal statuses, dark coin. How much does the bombkin do? I'm really curious, chat. We're gonna get a hilariously high number. I don't think I'm really wasting my money because I don't care about my money. <laughs> like, I think we got all the upgrades I need unless there is a seriously big upgrade after this. And even then, we're gonna be fighting some bosses and stuff in between. So we're just gonna go down to 7,000 or so. Don't mind me. Just in case, Chad, we wanna cheese the boss. I feel like this is a fair amount to try. And we'll fight th this stuff on the outside of the town to get an idea of how much damage we're doing with it. So let's go test the goods, and that'll make a determination whether I want to buy more. So keep in mind, this will be basically literally frame frame zero. So as soon as as soon as I exit, it already does damage. There's no animation. It might just insta cast. I'm not even sure if any frame will occur in terms of damage. So let's use the coin. Let's see if it's worth doing damage with. You can hit all enemies. It didn't do a lot of damage, so that's, that did not impress me. Then again, the the guy did it. So it's possible... AoE damage is not bad, I just I don't think that was a worthy amount. Let's get rid of Dart for now and replace it with the Bombkin. And let's see how much damage we do with this. 
I don't mind keeping it just to AoE knock things back. I think it still has a utility there. How much is this gonna do? What? That did 110? Oh, that's stupid. Wait, if I could get the girl... Okay, if... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does... Does it do a flat 110 right now? I need to know. Does, do, will she hit for 110? I want to know. Question. Okay, so it is... It Maybe it's a little based off of strength. Okay. So it's a little weaker than our sword strike, but it has potentially no downtime. And I can use it when I'm getting hit to just instantly attack. I think so far it was worth it, but I, I have to be careful with when I use it. So let's leave it. So we know the other claws do more damage, but maybe, maybe we'll get a couple more of these then. This potentially allows me to get rid of a lot of really annoying enemies. Uh, so that's all we're going to use for the rest of the game. I can use those to snipe things that seem to be casting spells at a distance, and that should interrupt them. I'm going to get a couple more ice coins, even though they don't seem to do a lot of damage. I want them for the AoE knockdown. That's literally the only reason I'm buying them. So let's go down to like 6,700 or so. So that way, when we start fighting annoying enemies and we need to just unlock whole groups, I can just spam these over and over. Presumably their damage is maybe based off of intelligence and the weapons are based off of strength. So it's possible the guy using it and only doing 50 could mean that if Charlotte uses it and does 70, that would still be worth it for her because she's only going to be doing 40 a hit anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, the math still works for her. The real-time advantage I don't think is very huge, but the fact that I could just completely shut down an encounter is kind of hilarious. So anyway, I could set sail and see where it takes me, but it's fine. Let's get our money back and just slap enemies from existence. Poor, poor enemies. At some point, these chest rewards will be worth it. So far, no. Bonk. So I think we'll see what happens when we go to the aisle, and then we'll probably pause around that point. So I think we made some decent progress overall. I do not want to get burned out on this game for sure. Kill these bats real quick. Goodbye, Mr. Zombie as well. I think, is this where I need to go? Or am I one early and this is the yellow thing? It's the yellow thing. Oh, I never saved. So let's go save in the other town first. And we'll come back. So yeah, that does a hilariously high amount of damage for something that's instant. So from the game perspective, I can chain those more rapidly than normal strikes. Downside is that now that I have a good class skill, it's worth a little less. I would have liked that in the werewolf fight, for sure. I would have been spamming that constantly. And plus, when the enemy's not targetable, like we saw before the enemy was going into defensive shell, I might as well just keep pelting it with abilities. Oh wait, actually, I want to go save first. Again, just getting our money's worth. So we paid for our own inn here. We'll keep it nighttime. You can try to forget any seeds. Oh, it made it morning. I guess it doesn't super matter at the moment. Yeah, let's go for at least another 20 or so. I'm assuming we're going to fight some bosses. We're going to get some plot. Maybe we'll check out one thing beyond that point. But we'll leave some of that for next time. Like how I swung and the game didn't register. He was dead already. Poor enemies. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the flute and get out of here. So I now have a spammable AoE. 
I repurchased some strength ups, I think. And if not, I still have magic for it, so it doesn't matter. 43 MP is a lot of MP for buffs. If we can figure out elemental weakness, I think we would be getting more use out of Durin, because potentially we could be doing a lot of damage to some of the mini bosses. But we don't really have a way of analyzing them like we do in Secret of Mana. And I feel like it's not super obvious with eight different elements what their weaknesses are, potentially on where we go. I mean, like, the fire ones and ice ones are fine, but was, like, everything in the lunar forest, for example, weak to other types? Or are they just neutral? Need a haircut says, we made it! Time to open the portal! Thank you for everything. I could never have attempted to open the portal on my own. Mana has been weakening throughout our journey, but I think I could still manage. Elementals, lend me your power! Time to show my stuff. You got this. Do it. Don't hold back. Ah! We won't be defeated. Take all my dark power. Hey, yo, here we go. Let us give, let us give this everything we have. I apologize that this is all I can do. I only hope that it will help. Dryad seems to have a theme of they're always mana drained. I've noticed between Secret of Mana and this game. Uh oh, we're opening the magic portal. The, the power of the rainbow chat. Oh, did we fail? You could do this fairy, just a little more. It didn't work that time, but don't worry, I got your back. Try again. Curse is so close. You could do it. Don't give up now. Phew. Thank you, everyone. Man has grown weaker than I expected. The portal won't get any larger. I'll try one more time. Please. Goddess of Mana, help us. We summon the big ball of rainbow into the sky. Congratulations, fairy, you did it! No, that wasn't me. The portal opened on its own. The monostones must have been activated. They're giving off way too much energy. They combined with the powers of the other elementals and created that huge portal in the sky. But it's too high up to reach. How can this be? Well... We failed, Chad. We had one job. Oh. Hello, airship. Dramatic battleship music ensues. Huh? Oh no, watch out! <laughs> Us getting nuked is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm glad the game agrees. Oh, I know that voice. I'll never forget the voice of the wizard fiend from Altina. <laughs> we could not activate the mana stones with the forbidden magic alone. Thank you for releasing enough mana energy. Now Altina's flying battleship, Gigantress. Oh, that's quite a name. We'll invade the Sanctuary of Mana. Please accept this gift with our regards. Hey, that's not a gift. <laughs> Your Majesty, Beastman's subjects, now is the time to invade the Sanctuary of Mana. Once you get the Sword of Mana, the human world will tremble at your feet. You can create a beastman utopia. Does that sound equitable, your furry majesty? <laughs> furry majesty, really? Hmm. Proceed with your plan. Yes, sire. Now then. Gods, we're off to the front lines. Every villain's going in, chat. 
I like them literally being carried by hawks. Lord of the Rings would be proud, chat. Wow, we really messed this plan up. So if we didn't do anything, then we wouldn't have opened the portal. <laughs> is that is that my takeaway from the plot? We're making things worse again. Malakoshia, was it? They have opened the portal to the sanctuary. Are you prepared? You forget to whom you speak. You are the one who's late. What news do you have of his dark majesty? He used the last of his essence to bring the Darkstone back from Malvolia and into this realm. His dark majesty has perished. It is proceeding as he planned. I have prepared the vessel that will bring us through the portal. Let's cast off. Once we have the Mana Sword, we can revive his Dark Majesty. His power can transform this realm into Mavolia itself. We cannot fail. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say, right, chat? They can't all win on this one. <laughs> I love the balloons. There you go. They're doing their best up impression at the moment. I mean, I think the battleship is going to win the war against this one, something tells me. Maybe the Beastmen would get close enough to the airship to raid it. Maybe it wouldn't be as one-sided as it would seem, then they can attack the people on board. But yeah, not looking good for balloon ship there. Uh-uh. Wake up, everyone. Oh, is everyone all right? We must go after those ships. Okie dokie, but how do we get up there? The sanctuary... Portal. I had to think about what word that was, I'm not gonna lie. Is in the sky. The winged defender. The what? In the mountains is a place called Celestial Peak. Our protector, the winged defender, oversees both land and sky. We can ask for his aid. That's perfect, let's hurry. Okay. I, I guess I could go do this. Well, it's slightly too early to end for now. So let's at least do this. So based off of prior conversations, I'm assuming we're gonna summon Flammy. It'll be adult Flammy. Versus like, still growing up Dragon Flammy. Um, wait, where on, where on the map is this? Uh-oh. Right, chat? Uh-oh. <laughs> the game didn't actually mark where to go. Um, I don't think it was here. That doesn't look right to me. I'm assuming that's the Northern Kingdom. I'm hoping it's over here. Question mark? Because it looks like there's another city up there, unless... Th no, this can't be it. This, this, this is Maya, right? Whatever it's called. We'll find out in a moment. I'm assuming it just wants me to climb this. Okay, this looks right. I found Heaven's Way. I'm assuming they want me to go to Heaven's Way based off of who spoke up there. I'm not sure why they didn't refer to it as Heaven's Way, which has me a little concerned. Was there like another path I could have taken that I've forgotten about? Wow, that was a triple kill straight up. Monster combo. Hmm.
Because we, when, when we went up here, there was the gust way, but was there something else up here? Because I can't think of, like, any other mountains in the game other than this one. And Heaven's Way leading to Celestial Peak, like, from a naming standpoint, makes sense to me. But I don't know if this is actually the right way or not. Get away from me. Bonk. If nothing else, we're going on a very fast killing spree. So this was just a dead-end room, right? Or was there something else I could have done here? Oh, unless this leads to Gust Way, then I don't think this is it. Yeah, that's Gust Way. I don't know. Hmm. I'm a little surprised they didn't mark it. They were actually doing a really good job of letting me know where to go. Now I feel like it's a bit too open. In a way where there should only be one destination I should go to. Like, is it up here? No. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. They're like, are you here for the winged defender? Let me unblock the path. Wow, okay. <sighs> well, I guess we found it at least. So we, we got it in one try. Oh no, what level are you? What? Oh, you're level 25? Well, that's monstrous. That is a big difficulty jump. Oh, PS, by the way, we've just been blocking this path the whole time. You don't have freedom here. We decide your fate. I mean, wouldn't it have been easier if we just called on this earlier for faster travel? I just feel like we're not thinking ahead, chat. I don't think we're putting our thinking cap on. That did 114 damage. Holy. That was some big damage. I guess if I don't know elemental weakness, I could just try to buff myself and see what happens. So next time we're in a fight, I'll try buffing. Because again, I don't know if it persists between rooms or not. I prefer to get into combat here, exactly. We have mental boost, accelerate, protection, and strength. I think I just want to strength up myself. So I did about 77 there. Hundred and thirty-one. Okay, strength up seems to be really strong. I think we can agree. Having that on demand is pretty good. And we have backup potential damage with him as well. So, curiosity, if these are all wind creatures, does Earth Saber do more damage? We're making him cast a spell for the first time. Man, that is slow. Let's see. And we miss. 177. Ooh, they have a weakness chat. That's not good for them. Holy, that was big damage. I make if the spell animation wasn't so long, I would probably be spamming it more often, to be honest. But yeah, so if flying enemies just equal free stone saber, that's a big damage increase. I mean look at that. I think I two shot him. It's a shame that animation is just so long, though. Oh, well. Up we go, chat. Oh, there's Flammy. That's it. Though, he's too small to defend much of anything. Is this one a baby? Hey there, we're trying to get to the Sanctuary of Mana. Can you help us? Step back. I can handle this. Oh, I see. You're a girl dragon, aren't you? Our mistake. I shall give you a cute name as an apology. How do you like Flammy? Lovely. Flammy it is. I'm sorry to ask, but we're short on time. Would you please take us to the portal in the sky above 
the Oblivile. Oh, she's forcing us to go there. I mean, I'll play a little bit more, but I was planning to stop after we got the dragon, to be honest. Also surprised there were no bosses. Welcome to the mascot of the series. Although I don't think it's in Legend of Mana now that I think about it. Why are we taking the world's longest route to go here? You're killing me. Hello? We're going to the middle of the map. Stop going north. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Bad mana dragon. Okay, now we're in the sky. Cool. There's the ruins. Mm hmm. Because we're going on an adventure, says Dango. I think so. This is the Sanctuary of Mana. Look, these are all the soldiers that went into the sanctuary before us. They slaughtered each other. So we'll go at least to a save point. We'll see what happens. Oh, we don't even say they're dead. We just don't even acknowledge them. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh no, King Ravite is here, chat. He's not messing around, chat. Big damage. Something more level 25s. That's a lot of XP. That is a lot of XP for easy fights. Ludana says, Ludana? He's questioning his own existence now. Look what you did, chat. You confused them so thoroughly. Oh, that's brutal. So XP 214 is really good. So let me get this straight. Every area has been consecutively easier since the Beast's Forest, whatever. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna skip this XP. The level 25 summon, not worth it. Everything else is. So this is approximately two and a half rooms compared to the volcano's worth of XP. Hmm. Take that, King Rabblade. Actually, you know what? Let me play Charlotte. She's not going to be doing anything. The AI is actually pretty good at hitting. They're not good at dodging, but that's fine. You won. Yeah, King Rabbite is worth a hilarious amount of XP. Mystery seed added, okay. Not what I think I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for literally like double question mark seed. That'll get, get us what we need later. So anyway, I mean, I guess I can level a little bit here. The King Rabbite seems like efficient use of power leveling compared to before. Triple Axle attack. It bonked. Nothing to do here. We have a ridiculous amount of MP. Plus, we still have nine walnuts as a reminder. So, like, I am not remotely close to being scared here. Our defenses are pretty good. I'm not taking, like, crazy damage. Did that miss? R Rabbite hail? Okay. Again, that's still a lot tamer than the other nonsense we have to deal with. I'm kind of okay with that. Hmm. One of these has to advance the plot, because I didn't see another path to take. This King Rabbite is getting messed up by us. <laughs> he had enough, apparently, chat. I will not miss Parish. Yeah, he alone is worth an entire room's worth in the volcano, just for clarity. Like, that's how good his XP is. And he just leveled again. I think he was 25 earlier. Yeah, so now they're getting 16 more XP. They don't seem that much tougher. Oh, that's just, that's just cruelty. Yeah, him getting that spin slash is so nasty. 238, he's giving another 16 or so XP. So, already by themselves, they are... Just those two enemies were two and a half rooms. If we had fought another one, it would have been more. Oh, can we walk on the lily pads? Okay, we can. 
So I have no reason to skip this very easy XP because I feel like there's a point where you want to grind versus just skip things. This, I feel like is a scenario I just want to take the XP. I don't think it'll get easier than this. This is like the easiest enemy type with like no BS, no healing. Oh, that just led me back here. Hmm. Uh, so we're still in kind of a maze. So I might skip a little bit of XP if I backtrack too much. I just want to make sure we're getting at least to the next area's worth of XP. Because it's very likely we're going to level extremely soon. Hmm. That's just the underside of this area. It's over here. I mean, I guess this is technically a new area. King Rabbi is the one we need to hard focus. If we kill him, absolutely worth it. So all that kind of just looped upon itself. It didn't help us get past this little barrier, but maybe we can interact with this, and I just didn't try. We should try. Well, for our allies here, just bully him. Oh, we hit him out of- and you can hit him out of his own spell? Wow, he is so easy. So I would like to go up here, but I'm not sure how to do that. Hmm. So I guess I could take the same path and then go further south. I think technically we haven't gone south there. I feel like extremely soon one of us will level. Nice. This is a ton of XP. Let's try going south for now. It just leads me back here. Okay, so I thought I was over one more room. I am not. Okay, so where do we go? I go back to the right. Was there another path I could have taken with the lilies? Alright, so I can't take that lily path, sadly. I leveled because I was not able to move. Can't level spirit. I can't level strength either. Oh, that's sad. Let's give stamina then. And I don't, I don't think I super need the H HP at the moment, but having 400 is nice, I guess. That's a pretty good safety factor. He has an insane amount of HP compared to other characters. And another candy. Okay, so can't cross there. Uh, we crossed down here before. Was there something I could do if I went to the right here? Like, could I go over here more? No, there's two blocks there. Hmm. Let's figure out the puzzle, I suppose. Antrus is leveled. I can't level spirit anymore. We can't get strength any higher either. Oh, that's sad. Let's level stamina then. Her health somewhat matters getting higher. Valkyrie leveled. Can't level spirit. Let's level strength then. So we got the level up that I was looking for. So we got a lot of safety HP. But no idea how to progress. So we came across another block here. I tried interacting with it, nothing happened. We killed everything in the room. We were in this room before. We came through the south side, but it didn't seem useful to do. I'm gonna try avoiding combat. Since I would just like to make some progress. So presumably somehow we have to come up over there. I could try crossing to the left here again. Maybe there was another path I missed. Actually, you know what? King Rabbi is just worth so much. Just perish. Bonk. <laughs> Hit him right out of his little spin. GG. Oh, there are lily pads up here. I don't think I went this way. Okay, this seems promising. I took lily pads. So now, presumably, I can wrap around to the other side. We could get hilarious amounts of XP. 238 XP is insane. So again, fairly easy XP. 
Now I'm willing to kill as we go forward. So now we're on the other side of the stone platform. Okay. Ooh, this is feeling... This is feeling like we're getting close to a boss. I think chat would agree. We got the dramatic pillars. So we'll see how close I am to another level. I'm just curious. Roughly how much XP that would require. So I just used a level 1 special and then comboed it into a level 2 special. And then I did that to dodge damage. That seems pretty unfair. I don't know what causes that. But chaining specials there is kind of OP. Alright, so I would need to clear about 11 more rooms to level. Eh, well, we'll get some XP on the way there. I think we're about where the game wants us to be while still making progress. The double healing statue. They really want to make sure that you are all healed up. Well, you know what? If it's just the boss fight we're doing here, I don't mind doing it, but that'll definitely be the last thing that we do. <laughs> but come, pray to the statue, get murdered. Ooh. Ooh, there's like a path over there. So what's the point of the statue up here? Anything? This mana statue is made from the same material as mana stones. You can switch classes here too. But don't forget, if you're changing in class 3, you need a special secret item for the class you want to become. Want to change your class? No. Maybe I can switch my class here? Is that what it's alluding to? Probably not. So this was just... Holy... Was it possible for me to be level 30-something by this point? How much grinding would you need to do? They're like, oh, let me just grind for 200 rooms, don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem worth it. Level 27 King Rabbi, no, no, that seems worth it. That's big XP. So we've had a jump of three levels since we've been in the dungeon. I don't know if it's worth leveling again, but it's at least worth killing this guy just to see how much XP he gives. 264, so he's giving 50 more experience than the one before him. And again, it's not really that much harder. I see a lily path and something to the left. That poor rabbi stands no chance. So we'll continue to do it since, again, it, de it depends on how many more rooms we have to go and whether or not this is worth it. For me so far, it is worth it to do. It's a very easy fight. I have another path potentially up here. Let's go this way. big area. Hmm. Can't do anything in the bottom left. Nothing to interact with over here. Let's go up one. I somehow made it to the Sword of Mana pretty fast, actually, besides getting stuck on the lilies. The second time through, that was fast. Wait, can I just leave? I mean, I probably should go touch it. Let's have her take it up. Yeah, I was expecting a boss fight before this, but, you know, never rule anything out. Don't rush it. You have to feel the connection to the sword in your heart. <laughs> then the tree starts singing to us like in Pocahontas. They're like, Lyneth, why are you why are you singing about color of the wind? <laughs> Just pull the sword. Okay. We're building up for the dramatic moment. The question we should ask ourselves, chat, is. How long are we going to keep the sword? Is the sword going to do anything if we do manage to hold on to it? I doubt we're going to improve our moveset or anything. I mean, it would have been nice, maybe.
There we go, chat. Sword flying up to us. <laughs> Can you imagine the enemy just goes yoink? <laughs> so we got the sword. The sword of mana. I cannot believe we made it this far, fairy. Fairy? Where are you? Please tell me what I should do with the sword. Oh, did we kill Fairy drawing the sword? Oh. Hello, Mana Goddess. Whoa. I am the shadow of the Goddess of Mana, Leneth, true wielder of the sword. Fairy was taken by the forces of evil. You must go to her. Well, what were the other two doing? Excuse me. No, 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 no. We were in our, like, concentration mode. Like, did, oh, just she just wander off into the woods? What is this BS? We're like, gee, <laughs> we're like, we're, we're like, thanks, Twinkle, idiot. No, this is horrible. Where are they taking Fairy? How can we help her? Mana has nearly disappeared. Soon the Mana Tree will die, and I will be no more. There's nothing I can do except leave you with this. Leneth, chosen of the Mana Sword, as well as your companions, Twinkle and Nita Haircut, who just stood there and watched the fairy get kidnapped, I guess. May the blessings of Mana be with you always. No, wait! Okay, what's in the chest? Blame me, Trump team, but you've no more room for items? Are you gonna make me go in storage? Why can't you just put this in storage? <laughs> Stupid. Move to storage. Shake your head, chat. Why do items not automatically go to storage? Thank you. Oh, I cut the victory music short by accident. Or as chat likes to, likes to say, what a twist. Wait, hold on. So I can't call Flammy here. Where can I call Flammy? Do I have to go all the way back to the beginning? Are you going to seriously make me walk out of this dungeon? Can I escape rope and save some time? I feel like the answer is no, but I will try anyway, because I would like to not walk through this dungeon again. Let's find out, chat. I doubt it'll work, but if it does, I'd be very happy. Otherwise, I'm just going to get XP on the way out. Oof. So much for returning to entrance. No universe doesn't make sense for Fairy to have been sprite napped in this situation. Yeah, I don't really get- oh. Well, I see why I wasn't able to teleport out, chat. The Dark Knight was just waiting for us all along. Sure, whatever. Also, are we seriously not gonna equip the Mana Sword? We just pulled it up, it's like, It is a thing of great power. Now put it in your backpack like all the other crap that's in there. I'm <laughs> just like... I mean, seriously, no one can use it? It's not even like a weapon. Wow. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember what these slots do. I think... One of them might be for a shield, but I don't know why each of the I don't know why there's two of them, I guess is the best way to phrase it. It's the Crimson Wizard and the Darkshine Knight. What's going on? <laughs> Can you imagine you picked up Monosaur and told you inventory's full? I'm mean, basically that happened. Oh, uh, that's kind of funny. It just it just went into the ether. Need a haircut. I have failed. The enemy invaded our stronghold and Dragon's Small. Oh, Dragon's Maul, not small. Unopposed. Our leader, Dragon Lord, is no more. This is the end. The wizard was no match for his foes. I too will disappear. The Dragon Lord's dark magic was all that sustained me, an already departed soul. Foes, what are you talking about? Who took Fairy and defeated the Crimson Wizard? Tell me now! Farewell. Need haircut, my. I'm assuming that was Father. I think it mentioned Father sacrificed himself in the pit, so I'm assuming he got revived by the Dragon Lord. I'm assuming it's the plot twist, but I guess if we want to see, we'll have to replay the remake where they don't get offed by an off-screen enemy. Wait, I don't get it. Who are you? Who is the enemy? No, you can't just disappear. I swore I was going to defeat the Crimson Wizard myself. Now what am I supposed to do, huh? Wait. 
Why did you just say wait? Whoever defeated the Crimson Wizard has got to be stronger. Doesn't matter. I'm going to help Fairy no matter what. Wow, he is really committed. So, I guess depending on who you pick here, we see different death scenes. Clearly, his distant third cousin, you're right. Good call on Parameter. So, I would like to leave at some point. It seems all the enemies are gone, which is kind of disappointing, because this was pretty easy XP. So, presumably because I selected the Wind Kingdom, that means we're going to have to deal with the Sorceress. Her balloon ship won the, the battle, I guess. Still can't do anything here. Balloon ship too good, chat. Oh, I actually wanted to get XP on the way back. That kind of sucks. I mean, if the overworld monsters get stronger, it doesn't super matter. Oh, hello. Huh? Gormund, are you the one who took Fairy? Don't be ridiculous. If it, it wasn't me, if it were, I'd have done away with all of you and stolen the sword instead of waiting here. Do not joke. Please, I'm speaking hypothetically. It pains me to see the Sword of Mata right in front of me, but I have orders to leave you whole. The one who stole Fairy from you also obliterated my master, the Masked Mage, along with his entire fortress, Mirage Palace. Wow, that was... A great off-screen battle we didn't get to witness. My hands are tied. If I don't do as they say, they won't let me live. As you see, I'm only here as a messenger. I'm well aware they will do away with me once I've fulfilled my purpose. I'm merely cooperating until I can make my escape. There I go rambling again. I'm sure you could tell your enemy is the epitome of evil at this point. <laughs> wow, real subtle there, dialogue. They're waiting at the entrance to Sanctuary. There, that's done. I must be on my way. Word of advice. It's best just to admit defeat. Farewell. Farewell, my foot. Where's Heath? Who? Oh, right. The magic corrupting him is probably lifted now that my master is dead. I heard it left him quite confused, however. We lost track of him, but good riddance. I have better things to worry about than his well-being. Like mine. Goodbye. They placed the bomb inside my head if I don't cooperate. Okay, Suicide Squad. Heath is still lost. Poor Heath. I promise I'll find you as soon as we defeat the bad guy. So because we saw literally, we have one person from each of the main villains. We're getting that as our wrap up for them. So we're never going to interact with their plot ever again. So kind of the downside to picking your own party. You get punished with the plot. So we'll leave it up to chat who they want to see next time. I imagine at minimum we'll pick Angela just because she's a new character. We could still technically do three characters we haven't seen. But sadly, we've seen more of Hawkeye's story than Durin's. <laughs> Uh-oh. Random movement there. So let chat think about it. What? Stop. Where are you taking Fairy? Hmm. I should have known the Princess of Laurent was worthy of the Mana Sword. Pity that your brother wasn't. What? What happened to Elliot? If you want your brother back, and your fairy back, you must come to Navarro with the Sword of Mana. <laughs> no, wait, stop! Elliot! Everyone else couldn't touch the sword, so they were waiting for you to get it for them, Wenneth. That's when they took Fairy. What now? It's gotta be a trap, right? I understand, but I must go. We do not know what Belladonna is plotting, but I will not allow it after what she did to my father in the kingdom. Nor will I let them keep my brother. Let us go to Navarro and take back Fairy and Elliot. Now am I allowed to... Okay, let me jump aloud. Boom. All these people te with teleporting powers, and we get stuck needing to find beaches for sea monsters, ships, reports, and whatever the hell the dragon uses for flying. Alright, so the controls are somewhat the same. If I hit start here, it doesn't show us the world map. It shows the controls at the bottom, which is interesting. Uh, how do I leave? Oh, I just keep flying. I don't descend. So, I see where we gotta go in the bottom right, which for some reason is now is highlighted. 
But I have a quick question. I think we're done with plot for now. Let's land, save the game. I want to check one area out. Oh, this is not really near the town. Oh. At least I don't think it is. I just wanted to very quickly use the inn. So I can use the drum as long as the enemy isn't attacking me. So the enemy was there, but I was able to use the drum. So that's good to know. I just wanted somewhere really quick to save. It won't... Oh. Did that land it? Oh. So I can land in the merchant town directly. Okay. we ha One annoyance is gone, Chad. I'm allowed to progress. We're going to see if the knight place updated at all? I kind of doubt it. Also, our money total is hilarious. Also, I hit AM by accident because the menu was slow. So sad. Take a look at what the mystery seed is, I guess. We're not going to save yet. I want it to be nighttime. Honey elixir sent to storage. Cool. So we have another safety heal. Try this again. PM this time. Wait a little bit for the menu to load. We're gonna save the game, check the night market, and then I want to see what's in the upper left. But I'm done with plot. I don't plan on doing more plot for the day. I'm more just kind of curious. So we didn't level again. So technically, according to the game, I think we're three or four levels under leveled. But the game kind of wanted an insane grind, so I don't feel all that bad. I mean, I did fight stuff on the way there, at least. Curiosity, did any of your equipment upgrade now that that has happened? Uh, not really. Because I feel like the equipment did improve over here. I don't remember the pumpkin, for example, being viable. But it's possible it was there the whole time. Uh, do you have anything to say, Fortune Teller, other than depressing fate is already decided? Nope. Okay. So let's fly away, see if there is some kind of hidden thing to the upper left. Even if it's just like a way of leveling, I just want to know what it is. Because there was that whole island we couldn't interact with. I just want to see what it does. And then eventually we'll go back to the plot. I'm thinking once we defeat the super magic beasts that inevitably will be unleashed upon the world that I wrote the names down earlier on. It'll give us something to do. Crystal Desert. And I can't do anything here. Huh. Okay. Well, chat. When inevitably the eight beasts, what were their names? Land Umber, Dangard, Zan Zandai, Phygum, Dolum, Mistbull, Lightgazer, and Unknown are defeated. Then we will... Oh, so that whole place is just one Crystal Desert tile. Disappointing. I'll check the map real quick to see if there's anything else. If not, I'll just reset because we didn't do anything with it. Um, I guess there's something directly to the south of us I never really interacted with. I think we landed on the volcano place, because that's the where tomato people were. So there's the Mirage Palace that we didn't interact with at all. Are we allowed to come here? Right? I'm pretty sure we didn't do anything here. Jungle of Visions. How hard are these enemies? Uh... Okay... So I stepped in a hut and we teleported. I just want to see how hard this area is. If it has no enemies, then we'll leave. I'm just curious. 
No enemies so far. Mm hmm. So I'm guessing this would have been where we would have had to have gone if the Crimson Wizard was our main survivor of the three antagonists. But sadly, we don't have anything to do here, it seems. Kind of unfortunate. We went to Navarro before already. I went there by accident earlier, if Chad remembers, when we were in the Oasis area. So it doesn't seem like I could do anything unless this opens a path to the northeast. So yeah, sadly no optional enemies to fight here. Yeah, I don't think anything changed over here and I can't step out of here. Unfortunate. Is there anywhere else I want to explore? So nothing to do here. Uh, there is that little tiny island here. Uh, nothing we could do here. It's not letting us land. Uh, there were technically, like, beaches over here, I thought. Can I land over here, for example? No, it doesn't seem like it. Like, when I hold still, it tells me the controls. But nothing to do here with these islands so far. Our destination is slightly to the right of us, but I don't want to go there. What's this place? Shimmering Ruins? Was that the other big bad location? I think it was. So I guess we found out where to go, I guess if we were with another group, question mark? I think that looks right. Hmm. So there's Laurent. I think we could just directly go to the fortress if we want to. I'm just seeing if there's literally anything else that I didn't look at or try to land at. Dark Castle? I don't think we ever went to Dark Castle. Night Cavern and Dark Castle. Can't do anything here. I'll try one more stomp. But it seems like there's nothing to do, so I might just leave it at our previous save, sadly. Interestingly, we can't land in Dark Castle directly. So I think that's about it then. I don't think there's anywhere I didn't explore. Yeah, if there's something hidden, I just don't know where it is then. Oh, I touched the sanctuary portal by accident. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, so we need to get a class upgrade. We could do this later. So with that, I can't think of anything we didn't do. I guess I can revisit the tomato town people if it lets us. Unless they're just extinct. It's not letting me land. It's possible that they're just dead chat, sadly. I can't land in the volcano either. Hmm. That was kind of unfortunate. It would have been nice to revisit. So unless this is a hidden area... No. Okay, I feel like I explored the map fairly well. We found three areas that we can't get into. Uh, presumably one will be plot related later with the night cavern into the dark castle. We saw the shimmering ruins and we saw the other place. So logically speaking, even though there were two antagonists, at least one of those potentially will be useful later. It's also possible the dark castle leads to like the super boss, but we have to wait until later. Since that seemed more involved to get to than the other ones. So I think with that chat, let's take a little break.
So let's talk about our thoughts and feelings about the game so far. Has it changed since the first couple of sessions? Um, I, I do think the Mushroom Forest was a big step up in difficulty. And then the game got really easy again. I felt it was kind of unfair how strong they were. I wonder if they meant for your better armor to appear in the Mushroom Forest. In order to counteract the high damage of the boss. But yeah, it was just kind of a weird difficulty spike. And none of the areas since then have been hard. In fact, we barely fought any bosses, which is kind of surprising. I think also from the standpoint of combat, I do like the new class strike skills. And there's like a little bit of brain th pattern thought. <laughs> just I have to consciously make a decision while playing combat to decide if I want to level one or level two. But uh, it's still depressingly simple, as I mentioned before. I do like that I have new throwable items. I will probably use those to get past annoying encounters. So that way our party doesn't die. So even though Water Coin isn't potentially going to be doing a lot of damage, I could be spamming it to knock down a lot of enemies simultaneously. As I said before, if a boss happens to go in a state where I don't think I can interrupt it quickly, I think I'm going to use the Throwing Axe repeatedly on Durin or potentially Charlotte, in order to stunlock the boss. So she could alternate between magic and the throwing item, and potentially that might just wombo combo the boss into Oblivion. Since presumably, you know, it might give him a, like, even just a couple of frames of stun is all I really need. I don't need it to be, like, whole seconds, because I just plan on chaining it over and over and over again. So we could potentially still cheese the boss. With what we have. Uh, so far the class upgrades. They went from pretty bad to decent. It really required us to get AoE heal. I'm still not entirely sold. On the elemental sabers being worth it so far. But I also don't think getting healing magic on Durin. Would have been worth it. So no regrets so far going that path. We do have the ability to buff magic damage, which I think is somewhat useful for making Charlotte potentially our damage mage, which is kind of funny. Um, but other than that, chat, just kind of okay. It, it's not as game-changing as it, the game has been building it up to be. Like, when we compare it to, as I said before, other games in the series... The difference between me getting like my starting sword and starting axe compared to like a morning star was like a game changer in quality of life. And that was just like a single weapon choice. I'm not really feeling like the class upgrade has made me like overpowered. The only thing that makes me feel better is the AoE heal. The other magic damage is kind of nice on Charlotte, but like not required. If it multi hit, that would have been a game changer for me. But the fact that it's still only single targets is kind of disappointing. I would have preferred one summon that was cheap single target and another summon that was multi-target but expensive. I th Then I would have been able to make the judgment call as I went through. Like It could have been like 4 or 5 mana compared to 1 MP. And I think that would have been kind of fair. So like even if it did just barely more damage, at least it would have the AoE. But having two single target spells that are within 10% damage of each other, but one costs literally 100% more, it's like... Ugh. I don't know, Chad. That feels kind of weird. But anyway, uh, I think we got as far as we're going to get today with the Trials of Mana. So we're going to continue forward. I'm still not entirely sure if I will get to the point where I get another class, to be honest with you. Since, as I said before, I'm pretty sure I beat the first game I without technically getting it. And I wrote down in one of my notes... And I'll make sure that I put this higher in the notes. It's level 38 for the next one. And given that we're not getting like a million kills, it's very likely we might end the game at like 35. We might not ever hit 38 unless I go out of my way for it. So I have a feeling unless I do grinding, we're going to be a little underleveled. And sadly, that means we're really not going to be able to enjoy the benefits of the second level class. Unless there's some serious XP from the upcoming bosses. Like, I know we're going to fight, I believe, at least eight more bosses, plus the final boss, plus, like, story bosses. So if we if we add in about one level of boss, I'm still only going to be, like, 32, 33 from where I'm at. I'm still going to be pretty underleveled. So we'll see where it goes. 
But my goal is that for each area we revisit or do whatever for the next big encounter, we'll try to get A level just to keep us vaguely in the hit point total so we don't get one shot by nonsense. And I think that's my only goal. So with that chat, uh, that's all I really have to say for tonight. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you are watching to this point, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Also, shout out to the, bum the Bumble Blitz for following.